Dear viewers, to the Smart Rise show here on Smart 24 TV, I am Ronald Tushkamwea and uh, will be with you until 10 a.m. today. Now, we have started the new year 2019 and of course, I know you could be wondering what is, what is going to happen? What am I going to do this year? What is going to make it different from how I've been doing my things? And of course, more importantly, you may need to actually evaluate how the other year was as you prepare to make more productivity for this year, 2019. Now, of course, as always, we will be committed to giving you the best and, and most updated information with relevance to your business, with relevance to your uh, different working environments. You could be working somewhere or you could be uh, working for someone or you could actually be employing some people. I want to challenge you today and this particular year to try and do things differently. See how things work. If you tried one method at a certain point and it didn't work out, try another one. If you had a manager who you tasked to do uh, something and and you had and you gave them enough time and they were not able to meet the targets, don't be quick to punish, evaluate them and of course be open-minded on new ideas. You know I was quite amazed uh, that uh, uh, as, as we got into 2019, majority of Ugandans celebrated in numerous ways. We had a number of people going to churches uh, to observe overnight throughout the entire uh, year that was uh, as, they, as they crossed over to 2019. We had others go to view fireworks in uh, uh, selected uh, uh, areas like uh, Serena, Sheraton. Uh, and of course, uh, we had those who chose to sleep through the night. Now, to them, it's another normal year. Now, most people have gotten so used to a cycle of activities you know they wake up in the same position they they go to bed in the same in the same style you know they go to jobs that they don't like they everything about them is is it's is just negative you know you bring this person around you and you're telling yourself no 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 i don't want such negative energy around me so this year I want to challenge you to do things differently. I want to challenge you to be positive, embrace a positive spirit, embrace a positive way of doing things. If you had conflicts with your colleagues, it is a brand new year. I challenge you. If you quarreled with that colleague yesterday, go to work today, give them a smile and say good morning, you know, and act like you'd, nothing happened yesterday. You'd be amazed how people are in a rush to put all the baggage in the past. You know, so while you want to dwell on today, the people you interact with want to move on. And I would, of course, encourage you to propel, to be, to be the, the, the progress propeller. You know, you move forward and they will move forward with you. Otherwise, um, you can still be part of uh, our Smart Rise show uh, on our social media networks. We are streaming live on Facebook and the page is Smart24 TV. I am Ronald Tushkamwea on Facebook and of course you can join us on, on Twitter. Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at East24 TV and I am at Ronald Tush. Uh, on Twitter. So to start off with, we want to give you some updates and of course, um, like I always love to say, these may not necessarily be from today's news, physical newspapers, but they are uh, bits that are happening either today or yesterday on different platforms of news, not necessarily newspapers. So if you expect a newspaper review, I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't have any paper with me. It's just a simple iPad. I'm going to give you a news review, an update of different news happening in the world. So to start with, I'm, I'm greatly, uh, oh, interested. I'm greatly interested in this post that I'm seeing on, 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 uh, on, uh, 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 um, uh, okay. Give me a second. Yes, there it is. <laughs> yes, uh, it is the new vision. And of course, there are a number of pictures showing how Ugandans welcome 2019. And uh, here we see thousands of Ugandans uh, throwing churches, major hotels and streets as they eagerly waited for 2019. I see Mama here dancing herself, you know, to joy. I would imagine what a 70-year-old has to say about the new year, you know, 70 or 80. It is amazing when you can go beyond one year to another. And so 
I feel her joy when I see her dancing. Away from that, um, another interesting uh, uh, headline in the new, on the New Vision website today is Don't teach sex to our school children, says Luanga. Now, I imagine he did mention this during the, uh, uh, the service yesterday. And, and he also said that Bank of Uganda officials implicated in the irregular closure of seven commercial banks and irregular operations should be brought to book if they committed uh, the offense. This was his recommendation. Of course, our church elders are greatly uh, challenged by, by uh, uh, the, their desire to remain pastoral to their churches vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the politics in the country, the policy frameworks, and of course, their desire to be leaders to the general community regardless of religion. So when uh, we get um, uh, an opportunity to get wisdom from, uh, for example, uh, this, this uh, church leader here, uh, Luanga, Yes, uh, uh, we, we, are, we are greatly humbled, I must say. Okay, yes, this is uh, ah, amazing. So he was saying in particular that, you know, it is not appropriate for you to start sex school, rather teaching sex to school children. And of course, upon doing so, you are likely to uh, uh, create a spirit of lust and longing in them. And that's why today, if you're keen, it is very... Of course, this isn't researched. <laughs> if you're keen, I assume it is very difficult to find uh, school children uh, who get to campus and, and they are not really uh, pervasive one way or the other. Because there is a lot of sex education, not only in schools, it can be on the websites, it can be on the internet, it can even be uh, on these normal TVs we watch, directly or indirectly, they may end up coming in with sex education. I, I, I don't know. Of course it is a debate. Is it a necessity? Is it something that we need to engage young people in? Or uh, it's something that they should go in uh, un, un, uh, unexposed and, of course, experience in an adventure sort of, of format? I don't know. Um, I would like to table it before you. And, of course, like I already say, you can let me know. Send us a comment. I will try as much as possible to uh, mention some of your comments here especially if they are constructive and appropriate. Now, uh, another interesting message from a clergy for the new year uh, was, uh, uh, was still on the New Vision site, and it is unemployed men should not get married. Now, this is something I love so much because I feel um, when, uh, when, before even getting into dating, I feel someone should have a job, you know? you should have a source of income before you even start dating. Because at the end of the day, and from a business perspective, I'm not necessarily bringing in Shosho, Wahala, Wahulu. The, the reality is, when you get into dating, you will incur some costs. And you need to take care of the people you're dating or the people that you are in a relationship with. Taking care of them means you must be in position to take care of yourself first. You cannot come to remove a speck from one's eye when you yourself have a speck within you. So get a job, start a business, and you know, be yourself in a position of work, then you can start looking for a, a, a lady or a gentleman to be part of your life. Now, of course, uh, our clergy here, um, Right Reverend uh, Henry Katumba Tamale, uh, Bishop of West Buganda Diocese, did say unemployed men should not get married. And of course, he said that uh, such men created, um, rather, were created physically strong to protect their wives and to work and uh, provide according to biblical scriptures and doing otherwise makes it practically hard for them to um, 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 fulfill their family roles. So this is a direct quotation from the New Vision. It's a very interesting report by uh, Apollo Mubiru. Now, of course, moving forward in other updates, I see... Um, from the international arena, uh, we are still on the New Vision site. Okay, I, I think let me not jumble this up, okay? Let me see, do we have any other story from Uganda that I would like you to pay attention to? No, okay, now let me go, go straight to the international arena. And uh, here they are saying uh, from the uh, Vision site that new Brazil leader Bolso, Bolsonaro targets crime and left-wing uh, left ideology. And of course in his inauguration speech before Brazil's uh, Congress, um, he 
he uh, president uh, president jaya jaya well i will attempt to pronounce it well uh, uh, did say that he he needed a true national pact and of course he needed to restore uh, uh, Braz the brazilian economy and brazil we must of course appreciate the fact that it has been on the international arena for for quite uh, uh, for quite a number of times for for the good and wrong reasons so in the business community what does it mean to have a new president in in a, in a country now we must understand one thing presidential candidates come in with different policies some may choose to uphold the policies that they found existing they may choose to enhance the economic environment what we call the political business climate rather the political business cycle yes the, business, the political business cycle it's greatly influenced by the leader in power that's why in cases of congo where we see uh, joseph kabila um uh, saying he is not going to stand and of course he was meant to have been uh, his term of office was meant to, to to expire two years back it became difficult for for different international players to operate in such a, an area that was politically unstable and of course at some point we did see a number of members of the business community to save their businesses running to neighboring countries like uganda and now when cases like brazil uh, come in brazil is a very strong economy it has a wonderful infrastructure wonderful investment opportunities but more important more importantly it is it has a lot of potential for the African economies, especially in terms of what we export there. You know, uh, so do pay attention to some of these international presidential changes, uh, uh, and of course, see how you can grab an opportunity there. Moving forward, uh, okay, 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 okay. I just want to quote. I just want to give a quote, a quote, a quote, a quote. No, 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 no. Let's go forward to something else. <laughs> you, you, I don't want to say everything. If I say too much, you may not want to go to the site itself. However, um, another interesting story on the international arena is U.S.-China should partner in Africa. And of course, this was advice given by Jimmy Carter when they were observing... Uh, um, 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 okay... Uh, it was an event to, 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 to uh, uh, the 40th anniversary of his January 1979 normalization of trade relations between the U.S. and China. That was, of course, his pres pre presidential term. And uh, he did, of course, work tirelessly day and night to see that he was on good, uh, good relations with uh, uh, the president of China, then uh, President Deng, uh, I will not mention the other name, they are not easy for me to say, <laughs> but uh, this time around he has said, look here, the, really, uh, the, 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 the troubles that we see, the, the cold war that could crop between Donald Trump and Xi Jinping, uh, China and US, could actually drive the US economy into worse uh, conditions than, than we desire. The best thing is to see that these two superpowers work together, especially in Africa, the home of all potential today, the home of different opportunities. And he's saying they will not be able to, to maintain their strong economic hold as long as they keep pushing away different powers and they don't, they don't work with them so well. So his, his advice to Trump, his advice to different uh, policymakers and stakeholders in the U.S. is China and U.S. should partner in Africa. So something to think about and of course uh do 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 get yourself to the website and get yourself more details now briefly before i i i i move on to the really really international sites for international for more international updates uh I, it must be noted that uh, uganda is currently uh in a state of uh, well we could say economic growth that is favorable that was as per reports of 2018 showing an economic growth of 6.1 percent but um, 
much as our economy is growing at that rate, we are still in dire need of uh, proper economic uh, policy formulation. Because, for example, our debt burden is, 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 is so alarming. We, we want to note some, some statistics here. And this is, uh, this is what they are saying, that um, Uganda's public debt has currently increased from uh, 10 billion, 10.5 billion US dollars, and that is, of course, uh, about 38.8 trillion Ugandan shillings. You know, by, that was by December 2016 to uh, 41 trillion Ugandan shillings by December 2017, which, is, which was, of course, an increase by um, a, a significant increase of about 30. Um, 30 for 38.4%. Now, this increase could appear small, but it must be noted that when you put together the total monetary value of all goods and services pro produced in a country, which is the GDP, uh, let us say if it comes to 100 billion, part of that normally will have uh, a, a, debt, a, a debt fraction on it. Now, in Uganda alone, by 2017, by the end of 2017, the debt fraction of that was 38.4% of the entire GDP. The limit for you to know that your economy is not doing well because of debts is if it goes beyond 50%. This is what is already happening in, in our neighboring countries like uh, Kenya. Much as, of course, it is one of the top trending economies in, in, in Africa, it is, uh, it is said that the debt burden there will crumble it down at a certain point in the future. So uh, as of this year, we will obviously share with you uh, some of, some of the, 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 the recent trends that we have seen in 2018 affecting uh, the debt burden of, 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 uh, of, 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 of uh, Uganda. And it must be noted significantly that much as we are crying over this debt, the money has been used in different infrastructure developments, including setting up the, 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 the recently con uh, constructed bridge in Jinja. Uh, we also had uh, different dams, including uh, uh, the Karumas, the Simbis. We, we had um, renovation of roads, the Entebbe Express Highway. Uh, and of course, uh, the, 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 this, um, what is it called? The Northern Bypass, the second phase of the Northern Bypass is also underway. And all these projects, recently the president also launched the flyover project. So we do see that most of these monies come from debt and our debt burden will uh, most possibly uh, go to 50%. Um, um, now we must say as, uh, as per the end of 2018, it was at 47%. So, I know it is too much statistics, too much wahala wahala na emu wangu, amabanja Uganda tu ina manji. Cheche chintu yoyino tegeira. Nti Uganda, wetu sekati, eriku umpi kutamira kumabanja. So, coming to 2018, vye emu kubintu vye tuandia gado kulaba wanga, abantu vye chukwata kuna dalavali mu government, haba economics, bagiza kukutele zengeli jetu funding, project is a fee, nga tetugenze nyu mumabanja. Na yu, of course, mubintu vye vila la, wali wamu saje mwala simbi, saidi ze kampalaba amu seven nae, chitalo, of course, the reasons are unclear as for now and as per my desk. But I feel uh, this brings me to a topic that uh, one of these days we will share here on Smart24. How do we engage the money lending system in Uganda? Where do we even borrow our monies from? Do we go to banks? Do we go to individuals? Bobango Yagale Center is Oktanika business. No genda muwa money lender. Condition chize vakuwa. Yochi money into wogena mubanka. Wandiba de may be ofuna kurete into nenyo. Obabu wakenda ewa money lender ali certified by government. Wino wino viola wabu wino vye bagina ni wakusawa echa pachetaka. Gwengo ya galaka kade kamu. Ni wakusawa echa pachetaka echobu kada atanu. No malaga chwairu wakubange echizivu cho ino laba cha amani nyo weta gokuwa echa pacho. You need some guidance on this and of course we will be sharing some of these things um, moving forward. Away from that I would imagine ni ainagwe ya soveza. Uh, many of you have a journalist to 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 table is all over to tell you is a blue and it's all over table is a 
Netu walekela debate ni mjige na maso. Vahi na goya soveza. Mm. Nemu vidala. Bagambi abdu katu untu. Ayakala kuhumula. Uh, I don't know whether this is intentional. This is a, a headline I'm seeing in monitor. Katuntu to quit parliament in 2021. And in summary, they are saying the government uh, chief whip, Ms. Ruth Nankabira, warned MPs against carrying out early campaigns ahead of general elections. And of course, Mr. Katuntu was recently replaced by Mubarak Munyagwa as chairperson Kosase in the shadow cabinet reshuffle. Uh, Kosase is the Committee for Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises, the same committee that was probing Bank of Uganda in December, September, and of course, the greater part of 2018, uh, in line with the closure of the seven commercial banks. Now, Mr. Katuntu was recently replaced by Munyagwa as uh, the chairperson of Kosase in the, shabo, in the shadow cabinet reshuffle. And uh, of course, in his comments, he's saying that in 2021, he will not be able to stand again. Of course, that is politics, but I've, I've greatly uh, appreciated his, uh, I must greatly appreciate his, his contribution to uh, the transparency in Uganda through the, 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 the Kosase probes into Bank of Uganda. It, it gave us a glimpse into what Uganda could look like if the fight against corruption was strong enough, you know? For people who could not even be touched or uh, uh, said anything about in line with their work, this time we saw them humbling themselves, of course, after long uh, back, back and forward uh, tumbles and prambles, but at some point, we appreciate the fact that uh, we saw Professor Emmanuel Mutebile humbling himself to, uh, to report to Kosase, uh, Louis Kasekende, uh, Justin Babajenda, and, and so many other people who we thought were untouchable. Now, the fight against corruption in Uganda is, is one that I feel we haven't yet fully done to, to, the, to the best of our capacity. It must be noted that Uganda is ranked among the worst, the most corrupt countries in the world. And uh, much as we have a lot of potential for investment, a lot of potential for economic growth, investors do not want to operate in an environment where they're not sure what their money is going to be used for. So, in order for us to tell the embela a year business one in Uganda, we need to at some point allow for transparency. We need to fight corruption. Ate, chino kenyata ya choge de nagamba. Njokuru ana corruption isi mulimu kwa government. Eh, kenyata ya gambi munyu ya meseji. Okuru ana corruption mulimu kwa guomu ntu. Nawe, nange, tuso wole okuru ana corruption. Bobangu ovuga, wa traffic na kuimiliza. At some point, you may have a penalty to incur, but don't rush to look at your wallet or don't rush to check your cabin. Eno jotele kevi nusu, ngeno yagala kumula ganti yo sobo lana wakuba yocho mwa singa chisaba. I feel, faba kaba corruption at some point, ye faba singa no, no kwa galo okusikiliza wanto kuwe la corrupt. So, Something to think about. We will obviously have a debate about this moving forward here on Smart24 TV. Uh, I, I would need you to stay tuned. And of course, if you feel you have a constructive uh, input on the fight against corruption in as far as business is concerned, you can contact us and we will be able to have your views aired out on this particular uh, platform. Now, of course, in other stories, um, Bashir forms a panel to probe the Sudan protest violence and uh, uh, the riot police I, 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 has managed rather has managed to disperse of rally so far with security agents uh, uh, arresting several opposition leaders and activists in a crackdown on suspected organizers of those protests and of course Sudan is facing an acute foreign exchange crisis um, uh, soaring inflation despite Washington lifting an economic embargo, embargo rather in October 2017. Now, simply, simply put, this is too much English. Simply put, Sudan has had a number of sanctions imposed on them because of uh, 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 many reasons, including uh, well, quote unquote, dictatorship from Omar Bashir, and uh, uh, it is also said that. 
uh, their, uh, their human rights abuses, infringement on, on different uh, rights of, uh, of, 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 of opposition members. And opposition is not, it's said not to be easy in Sudan. And of course now we do see protesters coming up to uh, protest different uh, economic turmoils like uh, the, the foreign exchange, the forex rate being so high, and at some point it's affecting the prices of commodities, the inflation is too high, we do see bread being too expensive, merely bread and other essentials being too expensive to buy in Sudan. So, Katuweba, two Sebagans in Nebekala Kasa, of course, Baba Isiza Muchiboka, Basilicale, Abamuko, Awali, Walu Abamo, Abantu Abafu De, Asatu Musamvu, or Nekati Omar Bashir Yagambi and Tilekawa Bewe Chibina, Chibulize, Kuzino violence, and of course, Abantu Abati Dua, Mbela Chi, Ebadeo, Elated Dabantu, Okweka Lakasa Webati. So, Okumanya Singa, Genda Kusaitia Monitor, and uh, you'll be able to get more details from that. Away from that, um, Let's take a quick break. You are still watching the Smart Rise show. We'll be right back with, um, with, with Shakira and the sports team. And of course, after that, we'll be here with Business Insights. Stay tuned. Queen? Video? Okay. Ah. Shaki, what do
Kanga S24 zembe bazo bazo kubanga muga matuje muja kubanga mubera nafe buli kumacha ngamso kubanga temu ba smart rise muko yadale chintu cho cha manyi dala we have you mona shakira otogera mbanzi ze ate nebye mizanyo nja kubanga omwanya chi chi kubanga chitambula munda mugwanga ko sebwe lwe gwanga ebwe lwe gwanga tujja kwatandikira ko kutimya totena otspas onako regulo ya deya wangu do mupira gwayo nge kuba cardiff ego za ba desato ko zero okusinzira ku mutendesi wa club ya cardiff omukulu go baita tena oswalk avana so kubanga gamba titi etsawe chine cha totena otspas china ba kubanga chigwa totinam otspazi by investing am search no obukade obukade lunana mu atano obwa pounds oso kubanga kuzimbetsa wo chino na echa nja wo chiso do kubanga chiri baba gambe sesi nawo kubanga chigwa ngato tinamba yo so do kubanga basazewo okubanga bagamba nti omwaka kuno gutandikira oba second round we tandikira ya barclays premier league baja kubanga ate baze mu tsawo chabwe jukidanti team on ya totinam otspazi esambila ku esambila wala te kuwembule ate baga mantweno kumanga bavayo okusinzira kumola gaso kumanga tambula gala gedanti tsa wachino cho tachina kumanga chite mumbeda nonji elanga ye agamante bana naba ntube nyinyo kumanga mwebali tasa kumanga ate bali safe ya gamba niti tsa we baino kumanga bagu minkiza munga ate ba investinga center za adizo nyingi dala okusinzira kutagete tatuna mootspaz abaga gaba gamba niti omu sizo niya second round ya bakli sumia liji ya 2018-2019 baino kumanga second round bad dayedi mutsawe eranga amauli lego amalala baga mante chigendo okubanga tsawe chasinze bunene wali ate mu UK eranga tamauli le amalala genyine genjo okubanga mante senda sodo okubanga batademu obukadde lunana mu atano baga mante bzo zise okubanga ate zande yongera muko okusinzira ku mauli le agalu kubanga tambulante chechi sawe chino sodo okubanga yemu kubisawe betuje okubanga ate tulengira nga byo byabye wunyo kuti wali mugwanga eri abungereza Agonga sodo kuwa angatade kuma bali, ama uli yego, ama laga so kuwa angafo ine getambula, tuja kuwa tukenda kuwa li kutimu ya Manchester United. Manchester United yete kele chikopo cha FA Cup, echigendo kuwa angachinda, jevu jako mumaso. Elanga Manchester United, eno mupira kukendo kuwa angezanya ono kujo kubela olu walelo, mubakli sumia leji. Ato so kuwa angabete kele okusitula, ogenda wali mugwange ili Dubai. Man United okusinzira kumutende suwayo, ya gamanti agenda kuwa angatua lako abavubu kawe, baka kampingire mu gwanga elie Dubai eranga bajja kubera wali mu hotel emu hotel is a five star hotel so sya sinze bunene mu gwanga elie Dubai eranga hotel eno bagenda kubanga baji suida mu 350 pounds bu oluna kulumu bu the room egenda kwa ya 350 pounds oluna ku abasambi Manchester United ama 12 mu batano agenda kubanga basuda ona ko jo kubera olo mu kaga basuda ena ku 5 oba agamba tabavubo kaba bano kubanga ate babeda mu mbera enunje okusinzira ku mutendesi wa team ya Manchester United eyaso kubanga yatwala edimo omwaka ogwede elastil omwezi ogwede tana kubanga amala amyezi ebiri yagama team ya Man United aino kubanga chikwele tsoboka baso kubanga ate bavai ba wangule mipira bakongula mipira esatu ejo mudiringanwa ngo mwami ono ali ku team ya Manchester United jukiran ti bagoba omtendes Oze Mourinho nenga ate jukiran ti batugamba zino sente zo nyinji nyo zibagenda kubanga ate bakosa kubanga hotel number basodo kubanga badge pangsiza hotel elko rooms bibiri e rooms zidi bibiri nenga ate oreda basema 25 bagenda kubanga bajja nenga Man United esodo kubanga hotel yona badge pangsiza for 5 days zibagenda kubanga ba malawali mu gwanga elie Dubai zibagenda kubanga ate bafunya mu chimu cha gendo kubanga ita waga mat hotel eno eliko etsawe hotel eno eliko gym era bajja kubanga ba camping mu baso kubanga ate bakola tewa gendo kubanga betagisa okuwangula mpira golo mukaga nga basamba club ya reading gwe munanga ate omulabi wa S24 Go amauli de amala we never saw do kubanga te au video jukidanti mpira na kuraya ja barclays premier league jiji menji jigije ndo kubanga te jizanyibwa jojo kubanga te munange gwe olengera ko erango kusinzira ona ku lwalero dikanti ona ku lwakusatu na kuraya ja badeyo twalenge de team za saw do kubanga za sambi za gobye twalebenga club ya tetina mwe goba 31 club ya asene ja kech kwa ne gobe mipe goal za badenya kwemu de tso kubanga twalenge de mipire meje saw do kubanga ja sambi dwa elastel team ya Everton ya kubidwa club ya Leicester City e goes abade ya bade emuku zero mwana mlenzi Real Madrid ya sodo kubanga aje tebe wabula nenga ate timu ya timu ate ya Chelsea 
in Beda Sinunji, Mona Mensas Fabrigas of Bubuka on Zara Spain, Agambayaga Kubanga, you get a club ya Monaco, Oxidra Mordia Gatambula, Mona Menthil Henry at a sub dog club ya Aseno, Agambeta Gumbubukon, Edanga by Red Okwanga, Bagenda Kutimia, Chelsea, Okuteka, Obukade, Obukada Makumi, Anna, Bagule, Obukon, Sas Fabrigas, Aso Kubanga, Gena Sambla Club ya Monaco, Omton the Sugabeta Thiel Henry, Juki Dantino, Tanaka Kubanga performing a logic club ya FC Monaco, Edanga Bagamanto. Kwanga, Boko to Kada Makumi and Aga Pound, Bagakuba in Masoga team, Eya Chosi, Baso Kubanga to assess Fabrigas, Okusanza Kumutendesi, Omtendeswa team, Eya Chosi, Omkul Goeta Sali, Jukia Tasa Kwanga Tasamis and Vubukono, Ate, Goeta says Fabrigas, Nengate, Yom Vubukono, Agambayaka Kumanga again, Buchanga Buckless Female Age first round at Tandika, and Vubukono, a Sambo and Peter Gualimuka, Edanga Yamani da Chikazali Zo. Kumina Bidi, Kutisawa, Echa, Mr. Stamford Bridge, Walikutimu, Eya Chaosi. Wana muda mugwangi ya Uganda, umutende suwa timu ya Vipers omuja. Baso do kumanga wa mulangi de maso gaba na maulio mkulu kubaita Ouma. Agamba, nti ya agenda kumanga kule tisovoka. Yuki nanti Ouma msajia muna Kenya, abadenga atende katimia under 17 ya e e Kenya, wali muharambe stars. Edanga baga manti, bagenda kumanga ba muwa esente. Zewaso do kumanga batu kambi sawa zinu, tibagenda kumanga ba zivu ya wana maulire. Yuki nantino abatende siwa na baguira, babale etamu no Mugwanga ya Uganda, Bata Sura Sente Nyingi, Okusinga Ate, Omutendes Omuna Uganda Wawanu. Nagvai Negamant, Ye Omukulu Gobaita Ate, Martinez, Yagenz Okuba Club, Ye Vipers, Ngamamu Gobye, Mukawai, the Mukontract Tia, Mukontract Tia, Wakati, Wene Vipers, Yadia Gamant, Rasa, Yabata Minatinga Contract Tia, Bagenda Kwanga Babu Rida, Okade, Amakumi Atan, Aga Uganda. Oye msajja juki anti Martinez, awade msajja ate, nga avawali mugwanga, avawali mugwanga, avawali ya gwerewe gwanga, okubanga jono munda mugwanga, wasodo okubanga maide enaku, enaku zali, enaku zali ntono nyo, enaku chukumi anamu kaga, zemala club ya Vipers FC, ni mamu kwa ata kumkona, onako lwali, wiki wede onako lwali ate, olomu kaga. Mingi utuso okubanga utokuto sako, wano ate ku S24. Tungenda kubanga, tuweto ulamu katono nyo. Botu kumau, ogenda kubanga ulengela omkulu Frank Gashumba. Yetu seda, agenda kubanga ni, ni mwana mulezi tushi kamoya. Ngaba kutusa kebi ntumijin. Yobaja kubia tuwa gendo kubanga bogeda ko, oso kubanga ochimanya. Tovao, katueto ulamu katono.
late in the US, it's early in Dubai, the same in Nairobi, Rwanda, uh, Zanzibar, Zambia, no matter where you are, who are watching us live, Mbalamu Siza Nyomwe Na, Mbaga Lizo Mwako Mulungi, Sichirungi ku, ku, Kugamba Mutunti Kuliko Mwaka, Uinzo Gamba Mutunti Kuliko Mwaka, Ngo Mwako Kugwaba Demu Lungi Jali, Uinzo Kuliso Mutu Mwaka, Nga Mwayaguli Devi Zimbe, Uinzo Kuliso Mutu Mwaka, Nga Mwayafuni De Promotions, Uinzo Kuliso Mutu Mwaka, Nga Mwayafu Kubi Demba, 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 Nga Mwayafu Bantu banja inzo kuwa galizo mwaka, but deep in him or her, ngatagu kuwa galiza. So mwenaba tulaba kusmart 24, nga jenu winile mtu wa galize mwako mwurunji, mwebali nyo. Tujia kuwele angana mwe from Monday to Friday, from 7 to 8, nga tuba uli lewe nitu ebi singa, bieba tababu uli la walala. Njia kuwele angana mwe wana to inspire you, to motivate you, basi kalo utaba malamu maanyi. Ze wenjo concentrating ngaye area jensi ngo kumanya Ebilala bananga wala wibajyo bikola Nere ero Echigambo cheba ita Mula mwa nze na tuwachi jia wano kusmart 24 By the way smart 24 to, to broadcast single live from downtown Kampala Ne The upscale of Kampala na gulu Ya wali head offices afe Lero tugenda kuogera kuchinu cheba ita Living a wishful life Okulivi ngo ulamu obutalibu wa fe Bana Uganda successfully abamu chetukoze Beba antu okulivi nga ulamu obutalibu wa fe Techo nchilabi nyomu generation ya abana ina kuzino Abana basula wa gomoka Basula wa nyue mwenge Bulibala yon na mujimanyi Buliklabu mujimanyi Katia omuavu dena muli kuholiday all over the world Njolumu mbeda ku Instagram, njolumu nembeda ku Facebook, njolumu nembeda ku Twitter, nembeda shocked. Ban, abana intambula jemutambula mbade ndi kusimu wano. Walo guenda bienga li, nolu weo mlala, li jama niyo mlala, li wa. Chisho kingo kubanti. Mbeda jemunu mkubanga basi ngamba manyi. Muselebrating, what are you celebrating every day? What are you celebrating? Uh, Mutravoringa to international countries. To spend money. No labo mtu afla inze first class, afla inze business class. Nyinga bo singo sebe banka statement yo getting a shocked. Mwenye wabuli chikachi amuenge chiri kuhusiku no. Nyinga bo uza mu celebrate inga chi. Soche tugen chengendo kuogera kuwa nole ilo. Nze mbili vinga yes, buli every stage, buli miaka, o inacho ino kuselebrate inga. Aba saji yabana wa gaga, ba Jack Mo, ba Bide Gates, ba Warren Buffett, ba Mark Zuckerberg, ba... Banu ba mkwano ba sudiri ba mluwana mkama mwechi umule chemi lembe. Botuni ya life ya abu okuchaka la kuali minimo. Aba lodi ba celebrating ba ina chevala ba uo. Kati mwechi chichi mu celebrating. Wane wafe Uganda wosango mwano mwale ya genze kuholide. Ni ba spending a cent and pity rivu. Na ita mudute free and tebe nga taina taswa na gwe na ka chocolate. Obano musangi and tebe e Uganda ngaliku kaboda kama uuba. So mwabana abataba atulabe sawa zinu mbaju inga on a serious note, on a serious note, mutandike 2019 kulezolution is a wino kubana zo. Mwebu uze chino chenko la chinga saachi. What value does it add to my life? What value? Echo remuli chimanya chenko la chinga saachi. Singa ku vacation jende sawa zinu kula pusingi deo na endu walira yo. Aba mutambula timuina ne travel insurance. Singa nduwali deyo, oba singa mfiri deyo, ania subolo kuwa ya lifting that dead body back to Uganda. Tali hiyo kubange chikati ya mwe, tuba manyi muliba na kubazibu. Ah, echintu wechilala, echikulu enyo. E, Kalicha ye miyenge, miyenge na juji, this is unbelievable. Kavu, katipuli mwana go interactinga na ye. E miyenge jiba nyo jiku shokinga. E miyenge jino whiskies. Eze miyenge whiskies zanyo wanga basajia wakadeba na genda. Beba nyo wangeje miyenge. Niyo tu niyo mwano mutali 18 years. Nzenzita tribes inga. All tribes. All tribes of alcohol ya ajinyua. Somba gamba 2019 kubintuwe mwino kusara wukola. Mulivinge obulamu obwa mwe. Live a budgeted life. 
mulivingo ulamu bwe musobola kumala ko nabo to livinga ulamu bwe tasobola kumala ko nabo mumpuli ateche ya mwabana abawala omuntu bwa kutwala out there is a reason why you are kutwala out go inzo close anti akwagala nyu but this is a scavenger just hunting out for you kati mwabana be sawa zino kusimati 24 What spend is a sent America for new for Christmas and New Year? All over the world, I want to have a success story. By nature, to chit 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 in common, believing in their budgets, to believing that we are moving to impressing our to balala. We know where now. We will club. We will chip for our work spending a cent. We go back to Vira. While we are not going to be able to Vira, we are going to be able to launch a new Serena. We are going to be able to get the Obito no. Ne mugaba singa bajigadde na wolo nchi yoneta kolachi neta berawo <coughs> ne mubuza mu bantu bola byenze go ino kubire simu mu thought you can come blah 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 brace this event i said no i cannot be part of that so abantu wene gombe nyo i've had an opportunity of interacting with the best brains in this country politicians ne ne businessmen ne by nature ndu chili chimu nti ba living in their budgets echirala ti ba living abola mu talibu abo Ensonge ya lengo enkulu enyo 2019 nachikona ko last time tunulira the tuteningo ko isanga abantu batano mikwano ya first study bajikola mu MIT MIT is an institute in Massachusetts in the US tuteningo ko isanga abantu batano mikwano ya fe kebera simu yeyo now joina ojja ko isanga nga abantu bogo mukana bobuli wa mu muine ebintu binji ebikwatagana Mkuwe gaide 2019 tani ko kuderiti nga abantu busimu yobo ina abantu lukumi ba reducing to 10 people who add value to you ono mukwano go Jack Linda Peter James ani go tweja ingenyo value chija akuongera ko lwachi mufuna sente zigenda okunyo omwenge ekiro ne mufuna sente zigenda ku vacations ezigenda ku holidays nenge standi kabu small bwesem is temuzina Eranze ne wonye gwanga lino mufuna sente zigomoka ne mufuna sente zichakala zibera buli wantu nenge zikola ka business ne muzikola kine muzina actual enjawo leliwo wakati wo kusoma no kola business you don't need a degree to start a business but you need some capital to start business chembalaga <coughs> singa mwe gendereza Uganda ka wakati ebifo byonna ndoza 90% ku bifo ebigomokerwa mu ka wakati Ebizimbe kwe biri <coughs> mikwano ya febali aba ajja wana abayindi abapangisa ebizimbe byano do you guys realize that elitians are taking over Uganda ama balago na hotel yenunji kati bazi taking over nze sinaba kulaba bantu batera ganga bantu bali trends abo na Ethiopians bali vinga obula mu bwabo ne ama balaga abwe gonna abana abafe webaga juza <coughs> ne mumaliriza nga sente muzibalekedde and i can predict 20, 15 to 20 years from today ngabe ngabe muli wano mutagala mikwano ya february mutegedde nabana mugenda kubacha wa kubanga they are very 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 serious nze sisanga nga ko ethiopian is over it yani zinga bali mu kampala bagomoka babera bakola ne bifo byonna Ebirimu amabala ebirimu posh restaurants abana abaffe beba spending la yosente era kino kintu te <coughs> ngenda kutegeka ngenda kutegeka I think I'll be announcing this like Friday or Thursday njala ku interacting na abana abali mu O and L for abali mu holiday njagala tugenda bashi yaringira nabo our experiences in school our experiences in universities and our experiences on the streets of Kampala tubabulire the real world je mujjam muleke kwe kwasa kwafe bintu bingi stwabifuna stwafuna bude bantu batubulira anti kino kino sichi tufu kino sichi sichiam ne mu mufunyo mukisanti we are around you can always advise us so you can always contact us and we advise you on what to do so i think like thursday or friday we'll be confirming the venue where this event is going to be We want to interact with the kids from senior 1 to senior 6 and university students to babuli the real world. Egulu nabadde ndaba nabadde ndaba vice president wa Kenya 
Dr. William Ruto nga agamba anti chichamu nyo government ye Kenya agenda ku reducing funding ku universities producing abana abatali competent abana abatali abatali hands on yenga agama ti omwana maliriza university asa amusanga atya ngatunda kasoli ku street puganga ngachala ganti omwana ava ku university ate yali bade above okutunda okutunda kasoli ku street Bino bie bintu bietu gendo kuogela kumu foramu ya fenu. Tubalage obero tia ku university ngo ina chokola. We preparing out ya university ngo mazo kusoma. Bietu gendo kuogela ku. Nezo zini zi holidays ya mwogela ku tugenda kuzo ogela ku. Kuanga it's chino chino chisewe chino kuma. Singa mwade mwulibana baba lodi. Echo chiri ok mwulibana baba langira. Be wungeleza chiri understand. Ni mwulibana baba antu ababu li jowe tumanyiwe tumela na buu. Aba living a, a simple life Unfortunately, send the mugen of gomo ka muziko lachi Muzifu, nati ya mweka ambabuli de mwabana abawala banda besawazin Omusajia inawa abakwa gala Oh, you, if you have a serious boyfriend A serious boyfriend will invest in you Investing in you, maiche chitegeza This person will take you back to school Ajakuza yeku yema yo kule diploma ngeyo yo Baku tuwale makere yo kule masters Owa akutandi kireka business yo kakole But uh, if you have a boyfriend who spends on you, that's one is a user. But when a boyfriend, ngabuli wamu, mumu gomoka, mumu li awali amabala, that one is a user. Taina cha kwa agaliza. Chovola ba, biya kuspendi ingira ko, biko machirecho. If you think I'm kidding, pick that phone. Kubiru wa musajyo ya mugame, tinyinechi zibu cha 2 million. Nchobandi stranded, my mother is sick, wachichecho. Ajia kuga amati ndi kusaiti amu bize siri yuwa nebi lala. Nesi ngo mugambi yetino. Wali yo mkolo guli kusere na baiti. Wali yo tebo ya milioni satu. This person will show up. So mbega hili de. Chino mchitu wale sili ya sili. Echitu wechi lala. Muniu ya smeseji president ya yogede. President na chua ya chogede konti. Okulivi ngo ulamo obutalibu wa mwina. Mensho ni inge nsize ya liya visit inze. Na, na, vis, na ya yugede korea na agamba yechi amu tuwale yuki ya liagenza kumitinga mchala we first lady today Nga chakula ganti he is very worried the type of life the youth of today live I'm not saying it here ulamu wa living a tali extravagant but he's the president Nechi alimi yaka chinana tacha ina cha losing Echila lechitu ya yugede koi Na chogela kone muganda wangiru yitu shinga tacha aga lechitu cha makanisa Ida president na agamba anti Nti taga anaba ntugenda kusaba makanisa. Nina abagamba timu expecting a miracle makanisa. Timu expecting of becoming a billion years because you go to church. Eche chigambo ya chiko onyeko. So echo nacho tuja chi discussing anga tu interacting ze na abana. <coughs> na abana, abana, abana abalala. Eche gambe cha chi ya konyeko chena ya gade. Ya konyeko chigambo cha, cha, cha savings. Mu developing a culture of saving, develop a culture of saving money. Develop a culture of saving money. If you don't develop a culture of saving money, you won't make it. I'll give you an example. Nga mamu wakalo kumanyati saving zikola. Gwandabe sawa zino, genda mochinabilo sumule, tap ya mazo, lekenga just drop yo kaye tonya, just a drop. Just a drop. Ojireke fede, ojijako maonge bafo yoye jude. Nga chite geza nti singa o, Singa wu inako save inze siri njiru kumi fo E ya Ogenda kumaliri zango ina sente zoko lachi Zewe itagecho na chue chiko zechi Sijia kuogeda kubi ya bufuzi kubanga Nze siku watagana na ikubi ya bufuzi I can't believe in what he says in politics Ejo sijia chiba Sijia chiba Sijia chiko naku Jia ku insistinga on the other The other positive true message of Of general yowe ni mseven Where he said Kids must start a culture of saving funds. Echigambe chila Echigambe chila na choge la kuruli. 2019. Get a mentor. Funomuntu gowe gomba. Omubuze. Gori 50 years or 60 years or 70 years. O surviving zote up to today. Bonomu funomuntu ya gono surviving na ya up to today. A surviving up to today. This person is going to guide you. Mbande nyo kubavubu kawa to. 
mwe <coughs> abantu abali married icho nacho chogera nyoti uh, na chogera mu waluwe mbaga je bampita kenda ko ezonti weddings nyingi zibadde omo december weddings nyingi zibadde omo december ni mu spending lavishly Oli na akole mbaga ya 200 million Out of which inga 100 million Iba muwa DMP ba tupas contribute inzi Teli mbaga is a profit Teli yo So 2019 Ibi yoku showing off Ibi yoku wera ga Ibi yoku wera ga Nga muko le mbaga na bebi kwa me Nga mu endabi mkwa nugu wanga nga ambie Sija chokira wana Nti Walwe mtu binu kuma mu 20, 2019 Sorry 2018 Embaga zinu beyond the wedding. Let's look beyond the wedding. Though my friends, my sisters, ladies tend to look at the wedding day, they don't look what happens after the wedding. So mba sabanti, nebi okwera gira mumbaga, okuspeninga lavishli mumbaga, nabiyo bikome 2018. Echilala, echilala, elachi zeyo kubana abataba gendo kuwasa. Ah, Nze mbili vinga nti Tuwali koze mbaga ezili mu, mu limits za fe <coughs> Tuwali koze mbaga ezili mu limits za fe Tuwali koze mbaga ezili tujamu Luwachi <coughs> Tuwali koze mbaga ezili tujamu Ni tuse vinga kasente Enso ngeenda le nkuru enyo Enyo What happens after A vacation Chichi singo kumataringa. Ogenze Germany, ogenze Iceland, ogenze Norway, ogenze South Africa, ogenze Dubai. Chicho oigayo, bobo ogenze yu, one genuine not. Chicho oigayo. Habana ba inemi yaka habili mukaga, bali mkuflying gezu zi, 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 Zeka amba wuli de banga liye maze kumsikunu. Te wali muntu yeraga. Te wali muntu wali vingo gula mbutali mu, 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 mu limits ze. Ama la kwecho tipa chikulimba. Sijia kuogera kumikuwa noji angebe manya bali bageze zako. Kuli vingo gula mbu. Aba mbali makumera. Aba lalabali. Aba lalabasi la anatibaina wadorwe tanu. Because no one tried to advise them. So when we are advising you, take this message. Seriously, seriously. Echi ntuwe chilala, echi ntuwe chilala. 2019, mchu zinge, na choge la koluri, mchu zinge your dress codes. It's very, very, very important. You cannot impress again. You cannot impress again. You cannot impress again. Making a show and you look good. Tomanya, Mukama jajo kuyambire yu. Niyo sango mtu mukampala. Na dara fabana betu wa somana. Bufetuli mu. Ale fotis. Nemi yaka jetuli mu sango mwana. Gwa somana ino bula nukaba. Maziga noga chino chichi. Bwa fanana. Naga mesi ya nkuba. Bichi bichi. Semanya luwala. Anta wanya. Nili wali cha gana nuku ambala. Uchuli. So mbega hili. 2019. Mula bikebulu unji. Nga jienko meziza. Echi nituwe chilala. Change alo kudaivatinga ku. Musome. Every day. At least read the book for 30, 45 minutes. Every day. Ati chino chini. Chibuli ya nyuwa nama uli ya bali mu media industry. Tosula kudispassinga information yu taina. There is a culture in Uganda where it's a social media that's, that sends or that sets the trend of news. Nalia masaka on the 28th. Aba ntunga munaana ni baampeleza message Nga baga amati president uh, Bashiro wa Sudani alizai nizi I had to contact a friend Nangamba no that's a lie Up to today president ya chali hu So chiche mbala ganti Mauli de manji agali false agali social media So mba saba mbega hili denti Mufeyo nyo kusomechi lala Internalize when you see something on the social media Don't simply share Oja kusharinga falsehoods abantu baku doubt abantu bengero ku doubtinga so abana abato social media nze believing ati ebintu ebi social there was a debate yesterday on 
on a TV show in the US in Ababuza, and social media negatives and positives is church singer. Then there was a positive Zezukolachi, Zez singer. It actually depending on the social media. Bobo gets the social media and go Yarakumania, how you can bake a cake. Obo solo chok sika chapati, echina chuch kolachi, kwechidi. So mu using a social media positively. Don't simply be on the social media. Be on the social media for, for a reason. Aha, echin to echina chichidi very vital, chen subi dance, chija triamba, omuaka gunu. Nabagambi, 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 ok choosing about mentors. Nenja gala nemi kuwano. To choose inga mkuwano guo okusinzi la kugwanga liye. Oba kala ye. E gwanga lino liono onesenti kati abantu bela bama wanga gabu. Aba ganda bela banga aba ganda. Aba nyanko linga aba nyanko. Aba chiga nga aba chiga. Aba nyalwanda nga aba nyalwanda. Aba soga nga aba soga. Choose inga a friend. Choose inga omuntu. On his ability or her ability to uplift you. That's what I think. I will give you this example. I think it was 1982. Uh, I think it was 1982. I think either 1982 or 1981. Michelle Obama, no, President wa Barack Obama, akenda mu university mo yagena mo wajita Princeton University. Bamu wa hole mo inoksula room mo inoksula. Ngarumu nene Obama zokuteka mo ebi intuwe biyona. Nebali tu mano mwalo mla lo mzungu go inoksharinga na hole. Okay, dormitory. Omana by Rabba Mumwalo Muduga Naku and Duru Nagamba, this cannot happen. I cannot sleep with a black girl. Immediately now, quite a simon up with a mamma way. Gaga, mammy, this cannot happen. I cannot sleep with this girl at the Chibichi. Mamma will look by a limousine. Mamma in Achu so man on Namu Jam, University of Namu to Alinda, because Nabuana be the Dante Omuntu Muduga Mutu Muduga Chichi Chakwen Yala. Little did they know. That in 2008, Michelle Obama again to create a first lady. Katibiri muenda ba genam White House okuchia alayo. We ba genam White House White House okuchia alayo. Ani go basa angayo Michelle Obama. Mama wamo ano yone kaka chia ali greeting. Gasi nga reko wamo na we muchi. Mu university Michelle Obama moyali. So it's very 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 vital that we don't choose friends best. On their religions, based on their ethnic backgrounds, based on the color of their skin. Muno nye mikuano, ejina jejiba kolachi, jejiba tuwala. Tono nye mikuano, oluokuba, muliba guanga limu, muliba dini emu, muliba, muliba, muliba muzilogumu, muliba, 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 baache chila. Muva mkonstituense ye emu. Wane wafu walu omu ntunga, ngokuja kwa yue Christian taja kwa ogela na awe. Walu wa mtu kujia kongo ulimu silamu, tajia kuogira na awe. Echi na chochi kolachi, na chochi kwechidi. So, eyo na yonso gankulu mbili kumina muenda. Echi nituwe chila la chenda ba. Na chonga chidi very vital. Chenta chen, chen, nso kwa analyzing chidi mo Uganda muno. Abana abato, abana abato. Muta nso kulo ozambu. Drugs. Mbu it's cool. Okunywe njaga, okunywa kokain, oh, ha, <laughs> ha. Tewali chintu chiru unji, chirimu njaga, over drugs. Tewali chintu chiru unji, chirimu muenge. Tewali chintu chiru unji, chiri, mwebe mitu bie njo gedi. Enda kwezo baga manti kesi zabane zisinge zili ebutabika hospital. Abana baba, baba mu universities, abana baba kosa drugs. Ate cha shoki nze, echa shoki nze, echa shoki nze, butabika hospital. Nga abana abana abasinga abaliyo, baba in these posh schools that you know. So I'm telling you, 2019, echuche baita miyenge, miyenge, drugs. Nacho mchigende kochi, mchigende kwa mpola. Ah, uh, Era chini zizayo kuchikonsonga jamba gani tuge nda we are we are arranging a, a, a retreat for a day interacting with young girls and young boys. Mwabana abanda be sawas and I believe batono ni abazuku sene the few who are watching us live. Mutoalebi tabo biyamusiliasli. 
Mchuzinge your books, not your boyfriends. Your boyfriend will disappoint you. Akuleka o today afuno mwalo mulala. But I can assure you, certificate yoba diploma yoba degree yote sula kwa bando ni ingencha, ni chusa amanya. Mumpuli landoze. Echu na chonchi wa saba, mchituwale sili ya sili. Mchituwale inti na chonchi nsonga nkulu nyo 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 nga jenko meza. Ensonga nda lady very vital. Mubele na education with a focus. Many and my area, ya specialization, again, a kubera wano. Mureko kubera naga, naga, ngabuli wa muo kolachi, ngabuli wa muo li. Mufune area, jo gamba munti chinoze, chengendo kolachi, chengendo kusiga lako, chengendo kubera ko. Mupuli ya ndo oza. Echu na cho, chikulu nyo, 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 nga jenko meza. Ensonge ndala, ensonge ndala. Mutandiko kufiziti ngaba anko ziba mwe, Ba anti ziba mwe. Mwinzo kubea ni anku wongo mula bango muavu. Nyo ba ni anti wongo mula bango muavu. Ni haba antu bano. Baina. Baina. Baga ambo bukade magezi. Baina ebi yoku higa kubi inji. Erana mwe. Haba za dabanda be sawa zinu. Mwikomi uka li cherife. Fe 1990s we tuwa kulida. He? He? Mukomi oka liche yunga wana wa vizitinga Abe nganda za abwe Omwane wana gende wako jawe wa antuwe Ainacha jio kujayo Mwata wana wa wala chino na chuchukulu E chitu chono mwano mwlezi cha sobolo kola Na uchisobola Te wali wachi nitu mwana mwlezi cha inza kola Na uchuta sobola kola Soto beranga wongo gamba Mbu no Mbu 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 those jobs, those uh, those professions are a preserve for men. No. Now so we look at go 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 to so brother go 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 Habana bakule yunga baise through those stages. Habana bakule basa nya waka bage baba na amanyi. Baba ni molalo. Mpulida. Baba no. Habana bakule basa nya nebatu ya na. Nenduwa baga mba ukunoeza kula ganti. Habana basa nye nyo. Haba participate nge nyo mizanyo. Bate ndi inga obu talu wala. So, abazadi abanda besawa zino. Abanda bebama lukula waka. Let kids participate. Mumini moja waka. Baji participate nge mu. Mumini moja waka. Na ye, emini meje jia wako lugwa. Abanda mubakirize. Bagende, bazanye. Bekube chedo maba kule nebi ntwebichi. Bakule nebi ntwebidala. Mumpuli andoze. Bakule nebi ntwebichi. Nebi ntwebidala. Ensonge nda edi veri vayito. Chino ncho ukera nyo. Abana batula besa. Abana besa wazi. Your parents will pay your school fees. Nedjute yoku sume genda kube ila yiyo tiba kulimba. It's going to be yours. No one will write your destiny. Your parents, your teachers will own a supplement. Will only help you to be what you want to be. But the rest must be done by you. Ochuli and those. By you. So mbega hili de, mbega hili de nga jenko meza, mtu waleaba sume sa sili asli, mtu waleaba za de sili asli, mkonsetrate nge kukusoma. E chintu wechilala, chintu te kuba bloggers. Zino, social media platforms zo following every day, what value? Okunonye ze wakula ganti, tute ningo kwe isa, Tute ningo kulo woza, nga abantu, nga social media blogs ze tusoma. Tute ninga okusoma, ebi intuwe tuwa agala. Edo the same study kulaga, titute ninga okusoma, ebi intuwe bitu wangu ila. Sebi intuwe bili hard. Mbademba sababi kumina muenda, tutandike kalicha, enonye ebi intuwe ebi gumu, ebi kuchare njinga.
Ebi kuchale nyinga no gamba Ntichino chichi What's this? Buliduwa wango kule chitu nechiku wangu ira Nechiku wangu ira Manya it's not meant for you Katifaba gena mjimu ba instructor batu gamba Oinalu otu kango ulira Ama intocha againa instructor na gamba We have four more rounds to go Buliduwa uli ango ni mjimu Ngo ulira Ama intocha aina Chitegeza awe njini wosingo kwa agala Kati walo chintuwa ita kadio Nze nchoo tuwe na mkadio Neba gamo genda kundukira one hour non stop ba, Baba umuza mufo like one minute or two Neno ulia serious pain ye njini Pain, pain ye njini Neno ulia pain ye wako gamba Wosingo kwa lachi, wosingo kwa agala So amu inkare jingyu Buliwa ulia ngo ulia pain ye mchintu Buliwa ulia ti akatabo koso makale hard that's the book you must read. That's the book you must read. Ate mwa bantu abakalu abakulu. Father Father Chibi ya Gambia baganda ba faba chala. Mwefe ko kumibiri ja mwe. Okujja konga natural oli munene nyo. Waliwa bantu abagezerwa wa chikache mmere che balia. Mumpuli mwefe ko it's very, very, very vital to wear farco. Musaja Jacureta Wakangori, Gorica Chala Catini, white away bang at Dene, or take a weight. So Father Chibi and Dene Avagama to wear farco. Kumibidi Jamui. Naye, Mikwano Yang and Evagan of social media, Bachala and Evaganti, ah, ah. Father Rimutu for new. Never, never gander of a father is never correctly. Be farco. Sizes are it's very very important into your better shape or better fit. You can only be fit when you eat right, when you exercise a lot. Don't simply eat each and everything. Echikusala mumaso. No gamba chinonja chilia, chilinja chilia, na chilinja chilia. Ha ha. Mumpuri andoza. Echutu chikola. Liebi intu, ebi na chibikola chi, echi e e. Chibikugasa. Finally, echifemba yo. Tewali politician agenda kuchusa wala mubuo. Echo tibabalimba. Manyimu cha mwukirira nyo. Tewali politician. Oba NRM. Oba FDC. Oba people power. Teba kulimba. There is a single politician. Agenda kutransforming your life. You as an individual. Don't be de deceived. Mwafrika wano. Tuchirabie. Buli government ya jia, buli etulaganti ya genda kola ebi asoba, ebi abali abasoka. Atene yoko lebili was okusinga bea jia bubu yinza. Chovula ambagamba on a serious note, mutuwa alebi ya mukola seriously. Kamba wake example, njiagala mutu nuliraba baka abali mupari ya menti today. Muno nyebi obufana nyebi wabwenga bala yira. Nadalaba maze yebi sanja bibidi. Njagara muno nye bufana iba wabona kulebala ira. Nye bufana naka akati. Oli ya la ira nga mutono. Nga mutono yenka nange chusumuluzo che mutoka. Neka akati ba inesi cha benka nange mbo go. Chitegeza. Successfully. Oku wangu la wakwe na fuku wa mubaka. Kwa achu usaye nga yene familia ye. So tontunuli le sawa zino no gama antino. Ntia aa. Bwenalo nda gundi agenda kuchuso wula muwange. Wakuli imba. Nziba no mbela na bu. Mbela na bu every day. Obulamu wali mbula la nyo. Uli contrary to what they tell you. So, echo na chochi kome bili kumina muenda. Wefe konga gwe. We nunule. We pakasize. Don't despise jobs. Kolo mlimo gwe na gwe na bantu kwa isa mwa masu. Omerebulu unji. Get a mentor aku mentor inge. Read the right books. Watch the right TV stations. Read the right newspapers. Ten years from today, Jaganti Gashumba Yakolachi, young Amba. I live with these, these people, Mbamani, the lives they were living very well. Mbamani Bulunji knew, Olamu Yakolachi, we were living. Eching to Echilala, Eching to Echilala, Eching to Echilala. Social media, Nadela Mabana Bawala. Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, Snapchat, 
Bano banda mga basinga be mula ba. Be mu following ano be gomba no bulo gwedalu. Bakuli imba. Obo obulamu bawa wala gira kushosho media. Nebo ba meetinga one on one. O inzo kaba. Baina zi filter ze bako ze sazi make up nebi dala. Ebi fane ibabi ya kubisa bali muotel. Zibabi ya kubisa bali kunyonyi. Njagala batandi koko ya kubisa ebi fana in their real lives. So younger girls. Don't get diverted because of what you see on the social media. Social media, pe people can pretend to be what they are not on the social media. So, mbega hili de na chomu chituwale chi? Mchituwale chikuru. Mwabana abawala, nchino choge la nyonti. Kange kasinga chafe. Aka tunebe kaba katono, nga kako, kaba kako. Nchoge la nyonti, aka moto kaka katono. Omwala inaka viti singa kake. Kasinga omwala avuga Range Rover nga ya boyfriend we. Echilala. Mumiti ingiza abana abawala abavu. Abajide kubugali. Gumwano mwenzi wajira muma sede se ya chita uba na abana abawala baku singa kubanga buno bugali buwabu. Finally chifemba yo. Anti. Uh, chifemba yo anti. Temupa 2019. Resolution indala. Temupa kukakuzala. Mbega yili de temupa kukakuzala. Habana habawala mufu nye mbuto kuspidi ya tenkanika. Ono muya ya jaku funyi soru buto, ulumalu kufunyi soru buto. Tulidamu mulaba. Kamba wewe wa presidenti venseza amanya wa taina bana. Ono presidenti wa France, Macron, taina muana. Presidenti wa Germany, Angela Marco, taina muana. Prime Minister wa, 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 wa UK. Teresa May, Taina Mwana. Italian Prime Minister, Polo Galitoni, Taina Mwana. Prime Minister wa Holland, Taina Mwana. Prime Minister wa Sweden, Taina Mwana. Prime Minister wa Luxembourg, Taina Mwana. Prime Minister wa Scotland, Taina Mwana. President wa European Union, Taina Mwana. Mwapuli, mwabuno wana ba muzala ne bumu maasanga kasasiru. Actual ne... Ne, ne katonda ya njini kwa tusinza ala ino mwano umu ya ino umu Na njini nsiyo na ino mwano umu ne goli muzigo ino mwana mwana So biyo kuzale nyeo na wewe bikome mwaka gunu Bikome mwaka kukozechi mwaka guwede Kuwanga buru muzala abana mwuta planning ide mtu wobu zimu Show ya I'll be doing a show from, from 7 to 8 Monday to Friday Monday to Friday So nenga Every day tukenda tuba tu improving a better and better. Every day. Every day. Aba tu nize in today. Today is a Wednesday, right? Today is a Wednesday. Mweba le nyo. Mweba le dala. Na ye. Nga sina wakufa. Blaini kwa hita jita podium. Nga sina wakufa ku podium. Teri chita soboka wansu wa njuba. Teri chita soboka. Aba ntube mwe gomba kusiku nobola wa. Nobe gomba Bazali wanga gwe Neba ine chintu chiri chimo Chiri unique Bali vinga mula mwabwe Tebera ga Tebera ga Abantu bonabo nabe mwe gomba Tebera ga Echilala Bauliriza nyo Mwabana batomwe na Obuta uliriza biko mebili kumina monana Okuwe mula abantu Na okuwa wechi gambe chenka na traini Kushosho media Nabu biko mayo kumina muna na nze Nabu uwe mule ya kushisho media Nga mati ono mukama msonyuwe Thank you so much Tukwatagane again tomorrow morning I sign out Yeah thank you Nera Ngeda kufuna umuntu wala gwenjo kula Ngeda kufuna
Nanganda okumwa full stage jangu tukufunira omulimu emitala wa mayanja obwa security guard drivers cleaners waiters and waitresses atemwe ba maidi ebyamwe byaterede da nebo boyina passport oba tolina jangu nga bwoli gwatwetaze kuba kusimu zino wa manga noti musambu noti musambu nkaka mu munana 10 na mwenda noti emu oba noti musambu nana sato 10 nya atano mutano noti mukag moto ya fega mbanti your job is our ply In Uganda, we did see uh, President Museveni listing down a few priority areas for 2019. And of course, the same was done by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Um, he, put, he did put a lot of emphasis on, on the on the recently reignited political re reconciliation process. We did see him three months ago uh, start a reconciliation process with the opposition and Raila Oding and the entire camp. And uh, of course, we also have something from President Paul Kagame of Rwanda. And uh, I, I love the fact that his New Year message to his co 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 compatriots in Rwanda was very brief. Uh, that was about, I think, about uh, seven to five minutes. So we want to understand, first of all, we have these leaders wish us a new year every beginning of the year, and of course give us a report at the close of the year. But at the end of the day, what kind of economic turn has 
the country taken. In Uganda alone, we did see a number of developments for 2018 infrastructure developments and launching infrastructure developments uh, leading up to 2020, 2021 onwards. Now in Tanzania, rather Kenya, the most significant moves they have been making are within political reconciliation. Uh, they have also done a lot to do with the global relations. These are some of the things that President Uhuru Kenyatta was listing out. So uh, to start with, let us have one of those speeches and of course we'll come back after that uh, to give a brief analysis of the contents within that speech. Banje kubasuhuza no kubifuriza umwaka mushya muhire ibihumbi bibiri na cumi n’icyenda. Hari byinshi byiza biri imbere ariko kandi hari n’akazi tugomba gukora kugira ngo tugeze igihugu cyacu. Take a critical look at some of these uh, speeches that are uh, given for the start of the year by our different leaders. Now, the East African community as a fraternity has seen, uh, I, I think, part of uh, uh, a greater part of 2018 uh, had less productivity for it, especially in line with uh, the different uh, disunities that we saw. Ngabake era ne batesa anti lero ebintu ebiyingira ensiza East Africa zona zona tibigenda kuba ako misolo. Na ye no sanga nga Tanzania actually yasoko chikola ngegamba umanyi kati much as na saini nzenti ebiva munsi ezaba ne baba fe Uganda, Kenya, Burundi ne South Sudan. Uh, to, to, um, a much as to say, um, but to get a big Jacomo solo in the country, Kum solo go between the Kuminatan or Kuchikumi, a fifteen percent tariff was imposed. And of course, the, the effect we saw in that was um, first of all, Tanzania was isolated. President Magufuli and the team, John Pembe, was, was isolated, but more importantly, 
many people who had hoped to send their commodities to Tanzania, especially in Uganda here, we did see a number of people get stuck at the Mutukula border and give it to your bag and your being is a Abaliba in a Kasoli Kasoli Navun did a Nemo Nemo store Rakubanga, but Tanzania Babigani. So, be no mean to be moved to be talking about Tegela Rachi. Guno Mwaka, but President Ivano speeches about Tabaga knew. Balaganyo amakubo getu to te Nayenga tefe mundabe yafe At some point there is a lot that still needs to be ironed out Of course mufunze Munja kunzi kilizamba isize muku zine Zimu ku speech uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta Boyada yugira guno mwaka Ya gambi ya yugide kubintu Bibi no wano wa manga Ya so sene politics and of course in his political uh, Message he did put Emphasis on the fact that In the previous year um, uh, There was uh, uh, following the elections, there was a lot of turmoil and political instability. Very many people got lost in thousands, and of course, uh, we also had millions of, uh, of of livelihoods in Kenya being affected negatively as businesses suffered from the political unrest. Now, he says in 2018 they made a resolution to to reconcile. And about three months back, we did see President Uhuru Kenyatta, uh, for the first time in a long time, come in the same place with Raila Odinga. And of course, they, they, they significantly uh, shook hands. And this, this, by the way, now I recently read an international report saying they are now brothers. You know, they are seen as brothers. But if you know the political history of these two uh, contenders, you will understand that it has not been a very simple journey for them. Their supporters have been slaughtering themselves live alone killing but slaughtering themselves immediately after an election i feel this is something good for kenyatta to report to the kenyan community and of course to the business fraternity in uganda that conducts business in kenya the political uh, business uh, cycle in kenya is relatively favorable for Ugandans to go and invest, for Ugandans to go and work, compared to how it was in 2017. So uh, then the other thing he reported on was the terrorism. He did mention that um, uh, Kenya being uh, an emerging, uh, first of all, a superpower in East Africa, an emerging power in, in, uh, in uh, in, in, uh, in, in the, on the global scene, in as far as representing Africa is concerned, it has been also relatively a target for a number of uh, ter 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 terrorism uh, uh, groups. And of course, um, uh, we want to say that he did, President Uhuru did say that the last year they put emphasis on, on, on improving their security and uh, like I told you before, he made it clear that security is the responsibility for every citizen. In fact, I will quote him saying, every citizen is required to protect our nation, our communities, and our families. This is what he has to say about terrorism. And of course, he's saying that as a big part of our success, um, as a big part of, of, of um, rather in 2018, terrorists continued to target Kenya and Kenyans, but with far less success due to the prevention and disruption of their plots. And of course, our security services have continued to work hard and intelligently. This is what President Uhuru Kenyatta is saying. And he also reported on the talents. He's saying we have... Uh, Rather, uh, uh, we celebrated the Harambe Stars success, uh, qualifying for the African Cup of Nations in 2019. And this was the first time in 15 years. Of course, I, I would imagine Shakira is saying, Kakati onouri aviatan so kogera Harambe, that is my, my, my stuff. No, no. This is Kenyatta giving a general outlook of how talent has been done in his uh, country. Yes. So he also recognized the number of people in the talent industry for enhancing Kenya, uh, uh, enhancing Kenya and its performance. Then he also talked about corruption, the war on corruption, and this is what he had to say that in the past year we have learned as people, uh, uh, as a people, that we can work together to fight corruption. Now. Uh, people accused of serious economic crimes are no longer being able to claim their personal challenge, uh, um, that their personal challenge should be seen as representing their entire ethnic group. But in summary, uh, in relation to corruption, President Uhuru Kenyatta warned and cautioned corrupt members of the Kenyan community, and he did clearly say that 
all their properties will be confiscated. They will be confiscated and of course they will be um, investigated, tried, and uh, justice will be delivered should there be any uh, co corruption within. Uh, of course, I feel this is a move done by most of the East African members. Uh, upon his uh, coming into power, President John Pembe Magufuli uh, was very, very strict. In fact, I, I do remember PLO claiming he was doing the mogulification of Africa drive and he would move to most of African continents praising the president of, 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 of Tanzania uh, for the different for the different anti-corruption moves he was making. And uh, in Uganda alone, we did see that in December, November, uh, President Yoweri Museveni was recognized for, uh, was recognized by, 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 by Transparency International for his contribution to the fight against corruption. And at the same time, around the same time, there was a very strong probe going on into Bank of Uganda, which we hope will be concluded sometime early this year. And uh, all this is a sign that the East African communities are saying we are fighting corruption. We want to attract more investors. We want the business community to trust us. Uh, but of course, extensively, in order to do that, we will need to fight corruption. So if you don't mind, I'm going to sip a cup of coffee. Take a quick break. We'll be right back with more analysis on these, uh, on these, on these speeches.
Warm welcome back. You are still watching the Smart Rise Show here on Smart 24 TV, and we are in for our Smart Insights. I am Ronald Tush Kamwea, and uh, let's start off now. Of course, before we went on, on uh, before we went in that break, we we were trying to analyze some of these uh, key issues that the presidents of the East African Community have uh, outlined for their New Year messages to their countries, and of course. Uh, with President Uhuru Kenyatta, we've already seen him comment about the politics. We've seen him comment about the global, um, oh, okay, politics, terrorism, uh, talent, uh, corruption. Now, with corruption, uh, which was our last point, he has said it is a no-nonsense term, you know. It's almost like our own saying, hakuna mchezo. Eh? Eh, yeah, so he says once we get you corrupt, we'll confiscate everything. <clears throat> now, with the global relations, uh, President Kenyatta had this to say, that we have, uh, rather, here we initiate ideas with the power to change the world. Our hosting of the first ever global blue economy, uh, rather global conference, which was called the blue, uh, rather sustainable blue economy, uh, was one of such instances. Now, he says that this was quite a unique meeting, uh, which had virtually all governments represented. And of course, we had th they had thousands of scientists, inventors, researchers, all of them came to Nairobi, of course, to discover a new path for global opportunity and prosperity. So President Kenyatta is saying that this is a sign that Nairobi, Kenya is taking a center stage in, uh, in the world market. It is also coming out to represent uh, Africa as an emerging superpower in Africa. And of course, like I've said, it is, it is economically, Kenya is literally a superpower in East Africa. So he's saying this is a good sign and we will do whatever we, ca whatever we can in 2019 to enhance our global relations, especially with neighbors such as America, China, Japan, the European Union and other uh, neighbors, uh, and our neighbors. This is a direct quote from him. By neighbors, I think he means the Uganda, K uh, Tanzania, among others. He quickly uh, mentioned something about the big four. Now, the big four is um, uh, an agenda that he has set up for 2014, and he's saying, we have commenced, this is President Kenyatta saying, we have commenced the implementation of the big four agenda, namely, Affordable and decent housing, affordable health care for all, uh, food and nutritional security, and manufacturing to create employment, particularly for our youth. Now, when they talk about manufacturing in an aim of co co creating employment opportunities, especially for the youth, I'm quickly driven back to to reminisce on the comments that were made by uh, 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 Ramadan Gobi, a policy analyst here in Uganda, when he was talking about the, the, the jobless paradox, the jobless growth paradox here in Uganda. One, he says, we have so many educated people, yes, well and good, we do have majority of Ugandan youth are now having an opportunity to study. However, while we have many formal graduates coming out, we actually have many of them going back to the villages because they have no jobs. Many are roaming on the streets as thugs and, and all sorts of criminal, uh, uh, criminal activities are being done by them because they don't have jobs. So he said that much as we credit the formal, much as we, we credit formal education as a system one has to go to, emphasis in the government needs to be put in uh, enhancing vocational education, but more importantly, it needs to be uh, put in enhancing the manufacturing and industry sector. And his reason is very simple, that the jobs that are currently available can only be seen through um, industry, where, where no one needs to be qualified really to work, to work in an industry, the qualifications are less. You come when you're not experienced, you have an opportunity to actually get on a machine and learn on the job. Unlike formal sorts of, un of employment where most of the Ugandan youth are keeping an eye. So I like the fact that uh, Kenyatta seems to agree with uh, Gobi and any other people who have a similar mindset that emphasis needs to be put in manufacturing, emphasis needs to be put in industry, and this will fight unemployment. 
uh, in Kenya. So this was what he had to say about that. And of course, he also mentioned finally about business. And he's saying, I want to let every entrepreneur and person running a small business know that they are, that they are, the, black, they, they are the backbone of our economy. We have not done as much as we should to support you. In 2019, I promise you that my administration will make possible effort to take uh, practical measures to uh, make it easier for you to grow your business. This is, of course, a very interesting commitment coming in from the president. I love the fact that he humbles himself and admits uh, that the year went with little support being given to the business community. But again, he says, we commit to supporting you and putting effort come 2019. Uh, now, by him saying the business community, I believe he's not only looking at citizens, the Kenyans, but he's looking at our Ugandan people who are doing business in Kenya. Kenya Tova Kubasi Ogenda Ogene Mombasa Bintu. You are all part of the business community implicated in this speech by President Kenyatta. Eida Twagalok Suvirante Suvizo Chatua De Gunumwaka or Gwen Kumi Bidi Kumi Namwenda Sinaiga no Choge. Kumi Bidi Kumi Namwenda. Na mani ilan kumi bili kumi na muna ana. Kali, guna umaka kumi bili kumi na muenda. Agambie, nti, haba business, haba kule ya business mu Kenya. Kwa wemu na Uganda, kava ni kastoba ngu kule ya business e Kenya. Gwa jaye bintu vyo walie Mombasa. Gwa ine duka. Gwa mukozo mukozi ngu limu na Uganda na ingu okola Kenya. Office ye li Kenya. Obange duka li okola mwili li Kenya. Haba gambie, nti bagenda kusawo embele kukirizo kolo ulonji. Uh, mguno umaka. Ate chitali wonyo umako guwede. So, yeno speech o mkulu Kenyata, uhuru Kenyata jewa daba antube. Of course, avala bie video moja chitegele atika video kade kampi nyonge da chika vili nechi intu. Uh, muzei, muzei ya wade speech ya sawa namba. <laughs> Elaga shumba, bade wanonga msikirira. Ne munagi, chisi nzida, what do you have to say? So, mubango, jaku nzikiriza ngende ko uh, kubimu kubintu kagame vya yugedi. And of course, uh, tuwade tuwagade tuwalagi ka video na audio ya fecha nkala nyemu. Kakati. Uh, kagame ye mkutu kilirabantu mebuli group ya genzaji wa message in fact general message ya wade country ye it was a very brief one it was about five minutes te yama te yate ya oze nadachi katkumi na ye nga buli group ya bada agenda yon haba wa message ye ya we eda wano we munda vila nina nina ebimu kubintu ebi avude message ya wele za end of year message ya wele za uh, uh, defense and security forces in Rwanda, the Rwanda Defense and Security Forces. And this is what he had to say, that um, as we approach the end of 2018 uh, and prepare to usher in 2019, I wish to commend your exemplary and outstanding service, hard work and dedication in delivering, um, in delivering your core duty of defending the people and territory of Rwanda. And of course, uh, that was, uh, uh, of course, briefly in summary. And, and to conclude his, his speech, he says, Officers, men and women, the beginning of the new year is also an opportunity for you to renew your pledge to curb all threats to national security, a vital pillar of our economic and social progress. The way you can continue this is, uh, rather the way you can continue to deserve the nation's trust and respect you have earned over the years is, is by, of course, doing these things. So, uh, he finally wished everyone and their families a merry christmas a happy new year and prosperity and that was president paul kagame now uh, president kagame has trended on the global scene for the year 2018 right from his uh, 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 appointment as the as as a chairperson of um, ooh, okay am i forgetting this <laughs> well ignore it but of course the the whole point was he has been um, seen on numerous accounts as, as a pillar in uh, as a pillar of, of development here in 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 africa and specifically in east africa uh, rwanda alone has been a model country recently they launched a a, a, a very interesting real estate project uh, not launching it to start but launching it to actually operate and it's amazing the beauty of Rwanda as a city the, the the infrastructure the industrialization and save for politics we must appreciate that the Rwandan economy is not doing uh, badly uh, so 
we do appreciate President Paul Kagame for, for, for some of this, this uh, uh, structural uh, changes that he is putting in, 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 uh, in, 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 in Rwanda as a country. And of course, uh, that was Kagame. Now, our own president, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, Simanyo Wanjogiranga Muzukulu. Jackie, 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 I know you're watching this. You're the Muzukulu. So, uh, very soon I should be pointing out some of the things that uh, our president had to say. But away from that, Let's take a very, very short break. It's going to be so short. And of course, I'll return with the, uh, a few insights on what President Museveni had to say in his New Year message, but with a particular focus on the business. Are still on the Smart Try show here on Smart 24 TV, and of course, we are still in for our business insights. Now, don't forget to be part of this show. You know, when I say you being when I talk about you being part of this show, I'm giving you an opportunity to actually air out your view without necessarily coming to the studio. Of course, if you want to come to the studio, inbox us and we'll be able to give you an opportunity considering what you have to say. Uh, away from that. You can, uh, we are trying to understand the, the president's uh, uh, end of year message deliveries and uh, 
their impacts on the different members of their communities. And uh, you may have something to comment about some of these things. Uh, you may have something to comment about what Kenyatta had to say, what Kagame had to say. Uh, uh, one of the funny comments that have come on my page was that uh, Kagame was just trying to show might, uh, military might. I don't know. That is your say. So have your say. Tell us what you think about some of these things. And of course, we will not be afraid to share out uh, constructive views on, on, on air here, on, on Smart24 TV. On, on, on Facebook, we are Smart24 TV. I am Ronald Tushkamweya. And on Twitter, we are at S24, at S24 TV. I am at Ronald Tush. So moving forward. We, we now want to come home. We want to come home. President Yoweri Museveni uh, did, did, did spend quite some time in relation to other presidents in his New Year message. I feel he's a very elaborate man. And, uh, and, and uh, again, we could credit that to the wisdom of experience. Away from that, he talked about African integration in his speech, and he's saying, well, when we produce goods and services, where shall we sell them? And he's trying to enlighten the Ugandan. coffee, Wawe tubitunda, olima nyo wabiyo na, chupa chulunji, netu kwa atagana na ama wanga, aga tudili defe, ngaba limu Afrika. Okula wanga, ebi ntubia febi mutso wolo kubitunda bulunji. In fact, this is, this is a direct quote from him saying that, Therefore, I hope, I hope to work with, uh, with fraternal people of Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, and South Sudan to consolidate the unity of the East African community. He says, of course, it must be important to note the fact that President Museveni uh, has been the chairperson of the uh, East African community in, in this past year. And of course, turning towards the end of the year, he called for about two meetings which, were which, were, which would end up getting cancelled because of uh, lack of quorum. Uh, significantly, I did note President uh, uh, Mogufuli and um, what's his name, Pierre Nkurunziza of Burundi, failing to attend uh, the, the, one of those meetings. And most of these antagonisms have put the credibility of the East African community in question. So I, I would understand if this is uh, something that Musei is fronting in his speech. Yazemuna yogela kuchintu choku fukiri lebilime na kujuki zanti o kudipeni nganyo kubintu vya kubintu vya katonda na dalomu sana na enkuba. Nga to planning de enkuba reta tonye olumu chinzobuta 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 kolangabu ocha agade. Ochitegele chinzokola nene chita kolangabu ocha agade. So okubela on a safe side gena nyomu system yoku fukiri lebilime. Omwaka guno nga guta nika tuwa sekele la nyomu zei nga tumulaba, tumulaba kwa ataka garike na gena munimiro na gena kuluzi na achi mamazi na gena munimiro na ateka yobu chupa na fukiri. Of course those who did not appreciate the method critiqued and criticized it. But I feel one thing that Ugandans need to understand is we live within our means. Tuko sachiri wo. If we could we would put up irrigation systems everywhere. But we need to learn to work within our means. The bottles are everywhere. Apart from helping us, they are endangering the environment. So if you can use them to actually enhance production in your garden, well and good. However, on irrigation, this is, uh, this is briefly what he had to say, that uh, we will, uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me just give a, sn a snippet. He says they are gonna embark on uh, three micro irrigation projects. Uh, this is irrigation on small scales. And it says these micro irrigation projects will have three main methods, and that is the gravity-based irrigation. Uh, gravity-based, Nadia Gadu Kloza, and Ngabetuina Obuchupa, we know Amazi Tubuani Kamubanga, Amazi Nega, Jampola, Ampola, Ngabuiga Fukirida. Not necessarily Buchupa, Nay Navy, and Tavida Levi Kiris, Amazi Okuva Mubanga, Ngabuiga Guaku Vimelavia Fe. Then micro solar pumping. Angatuko sa mani gomu sana. 
okubanga tupampinga amazi okutuke nimiro ba okwota transfer aba national water bajja kuba ko nomune munene kwecho and these are some of the three projects and he is saying the micro irrigation projects will be 190 across the entire country. This is the target for 2019. Of course, slow but sure. I do hope that come December uh, 31st, 2019, we can have a good report about this particular issue. He talked about land ownership. I will direct, this is a quote from him, I will directly lead the struggle against illegal land evictions. I will directly lead the struggle against illegal land evictions. The categories of those who own land include those whose ancestors were found on that land, those who were uh, allowed on that land by the landlords and owners, the, those who are bona fide occupants uh, of the land by 1986, uh, uh, who, were yes, who were bona fide occupants of the land by 1986, those who bought or inherited the land. So these are some of the different categories of land owners. And uh, he's saying that those who are not among the, the, the four categories listed but have been on land for more than 12 years without anybody challenging them will also be protected in his move. Now, I must appreciate one thing. Whenever um, uh, President Chowery Museveni comes out to say that he's directly going to get involved in something, uh, significantly we do see some change. We saw that happening in, uh, uh, in corruption. We saw that happening in, in, in uh, the, 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 the killings that, were that, that, that took place aimlessly uh, at the end of 2017 and the beginning of the other year. Uh, we, we, so we saw him getting directly involved and whenever he gets involved, things get done. So this brings me to a point of leadership, uh, especially now in a business or, or in a country like Uganda. Why do people who are responsible for something in particular have to wait for their bosses to be around in order to deliver? Muchida bienyo, kebe business, Bosi bwabao byo mwabu gutana nola baba duke na bantu ke na bantu ke nunga bagala kula ganti bakola nyo ne bwabulawo eminne jikano tambula mu 7 bureyega ta mu chintu na basirikale bakankana in fact twagala tugambe nti tulabe ebintu nga bitambula at some point this is not a political stand i'm just looking at it from a management position can we create a system that allows people to work with little or no supervision at all Think about it. When you're gonna, uh, uh, when you cook coffee, 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 when coffee, Yes, and uh, oh, it's too hot. And uh, of course, and of course, the body has a system that was designed that can run on its own. I don't need to keep directing uh, where the food goes and what what the coffee does in my tummy. I, I don't even need to know. I don't even know. The reality is, so a business has the potential to act like a normal body. For the start, provide the conducive environment for people to work in a country. Provide the conducive environment for different stakeholders and players to do a good job. And of course, give them room to work and operate and provide productivity. So it comes back to the managers, it comes back to the CEOs, it comes back to the supervisors, and then it also comes back to the employees of any normal business. You know? So we'll of course share more on that. Uh, uh, on a topical discussion of how best uh, we can get productivity out of people with little or no supervision. Uh, that was in line with uh, President Museveni's claim that he will, commitment that he will get engaged directly in protecting people who are illegally evicted from lands uh, by different landowners and uh, landlords. Uh, he also obviously talked about corruption, obviously. It's a cry of every country these days. And he's saying, I will, I, I can replace corrupt officials. I, I like his daring moves. Eh? 
I can take away the parliament. I can replace corrupt officials. Anyway, I'm not going political. And he's saying, we have a very large number of educated people that are ready to replace corrupt officials. I can sack a thousand civil servants and replace them the same day. Now, the corruption talk is a big one. And I cannot lie to you that within these few left minutes, I will be able to exhaust it. But we must understand one thing, that whenever a country uh, has corruption that is not checked, whenever a country has corruption, for starters, people will cease to trust that country, or the trust will diminish at some point. Money that is meant to be, may, uh, meant to be doing some activities should be left to do those activities. Because if it is a road, and it is well constructed, you, the the minister in charge will definitely get the credit either through a better salary but more importantly through the fact that you were chosen to serve and you served rightfully. So if the president says that he can ably sack 10,000 civil servants and these are your parents, these are my parents, these are your brothers, uh, my brothers, sisters and you know these are our relatives. We should get concerned. They will be affected. Whenever a massive uh, layoff like that happens, people will, uh, very many people are affected, especially the dependents of the, of the victims. So let's create an environment that allows us to have a corrupt free country, an environment that allows us to uh, have checks and balances as a system for the, different, uh, for the different departments and units, and so on and so forth. Please um, uh, help help as a, as a responsible citizen in the fight against corruption. There is a 24-hour call center that uh, has been established, and this call center is headed by uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Edith Nakalema to tackle the problem of corruption. Very soon we'll be sharing with you those, those, contacts, those contacts for the call center. And they are saying Nakalema, this is what President Museveni had to say, Nakalema is not rep replacing the IGG, no. Uh, he, she, she's just there to do a job, you know. This is what he had to say regarding those who are claiming that Nakalima was, was going to replace the IGG. He's saying no, uh, it should be clear that he is not replacing, the, uh, she is not replacing the IGG. So I feel this is nice. Uh, you see a corrupt official make a call and uh, Nakalima and the team will quickly run in to investigate that and hopefully Come the end of 2020, uh, 2019, we'll see corruption reduced by a significant margin. Uh, so, uh, political indiscipline, he also commented about it. He commented about uh, crime, and he's saying, he said within just the Christmas season, and I would imagine that was 23rd, 25th, rather 24th, 25th, 26th, within just that, those three days, um, uh, 23, more than 23 cases of crime were reported. And uh, he, says, um, he says he was briefed by the police that 23 offenses were reported on Christmas Day alone, Ooh. including 11 murders, one victim of mob justice, two victims of shooting, uh, one attempted murder, two killed in an accidental fire, and so on and so forth. This is what he had to say. And of course, they are, he says these are mainly isolated incidents which are straightforward and not organized, says the president. This shows that vigilance is working and that by the end of 2019, our anti-crime posture will be quite different. Well, interesting. We, we are keeping our eyes open. You know, my work is to tell you what he said and perhaps to tell you what it means. But uh, I, will not, I, I may not necessarily go into forcing him to do what he promised. But this is now our task as responsible citizens, okay? Away from that, uh, you've been uh, very good uh, listeners for the Smart Business Insights. And of course, we are still on until 10. We have a lot more coming up. Uh, Dr. Diana Antamu, the director of the Macquarie University Business School in Entrepreneurship, Innovation and Incubation Center, uh, will be sharing with us uh, in a few minutes. She will be here with us, sharing with us the different um, uh, ways in which you can prepare for 2019 in the sense of setting resolutions. And I feel you need this, I need it, and it's amazing, you know, it is amazing for you to know how to plan. So, stay tuned right after this break. We'll be back with Dr. Diana Antamu.
warm welcome from that short break. Of course, you're still watching the Smart Rise right Show here on Smart 24 with your best presenter at this particular year, 2019, Ronald Tushkamwea. Now, as the year begins to, uh, rather as the year starts, we do see a number of activities taking place. And of course, I do know that as 2018 came to a close, you could have had some things that you said to achieve, and maybe you achieved, maybe you didn't achieve. Now, today in our show, in our Smart Forum, we intend to understand what are New Year resolutions, but more importantly, how does an individual set New Year resolutions and how does a business set up New Year resolutions? And to share with us that knowledge, we have the director of the Makere University Business School Entrepreneurship Innovation and Incubation Center, Dr. Diana Antamu, who is not only into management as a profession, she is also an economist, she is a farmer, and today I am humbled to say that I also host her as a mother, as a son seeking advice from a mother, and I am willing to share with you what she will share with us. So welcome to the show, Dr. Diana. Thank you. How was 2018 for you? Well, it was a good year, um, generally. A few downs, many more ups. So it was a good year. Yes. Amazing. Now, uh, could you briefly tell us about your work of your place of work before we go into the topic today? All right. Uh, I'm first of all very happy to be here. Um, I work at the Moves Entrepreneurship Innovation and Incubation Center and at Makere University Business School. And uh, I am a lecturer, but also the director of the center. And the center exists to foster entrepreneurship by nurturing innovations and startups. We support people that have dreams. We support people that have ideas. And the way we do it is that we get you to participate in our different programs, to share with us your innovative, unique idea, and then we help you to think through that idea so that you can realize it and have it implemented and see yourself create a successful business. So that's what we do at the center. And I would like to say that I'm very happy to be here and encourage each one of you that has an idea, that wants to do something, that wants to create a business, to please come to the center so that we can support you to see your dream come true. I am even happier that today is uh, the new year. 2019 January 1st so it is the best way to start up a new year by looking out for what is it that you really want to achieve in terms of business and then you come and we support you to realize that amazing now doctor just like you said it is a new year and they talk around for a normal person well not that the others are normal but they talk around would be setting goals setting resolutions and uh, of course very many times we enter a year claiming to set resolutions but we don't even understand what they are so before we go into the topic of uh, how to prepare for the new year to or rather how to prepare for 2019 um, in terms of resolutions what are these resolutions how do we how could we understand resolutions from your perspective okay so well it is first of all i must say it's always exciting when you are starting a new year and then you have all these dreams you have all these hopes and expectations and then you begin to say in 2019 i want to be rich i want to do that i want to do this and it is always easy to say uh, because it is a new year and then of course everybody else is actually setting resolution so a resolution is something that you decide that you really want to achieve but i, I would like to say that actually before we even go to the resolutions we need to understand the process of coming up with resolutions most of us have gone through 2018 and maybe we had resolutions, you know, not, act, not everybody has get, you know, gets to set resolutions, yes. but those of the, of the people that had resolutions. It is important that you look back and see what was 2018 like? What was this year like? What were my accomplishments? Uh, what were my, my downs? What were the challenges? What did I manage? What were my best moments? What made me happy? So, the most important thing is to look back in the previous year. And if you had any goals that you had set, how did you perform? And then, 
decide that based on your performance in 2018, you now decide on the way forward for 2019. It is unfortunate if you keep on setting resolutions without looking back to see how you fared, how you performed uh, on the previous goals that you had set. So, as we go to say, this is what we want to achieve in 2019, let us look back in 2018 and look at what had we set out to achieve. How did we do? How did we perform? What let us down? Maybe things to do with us as individuals. Uh, maybe some of them were factors that we could not control as individuals. And then plan, put in place a very good plan for 2019, well knowing that this is what I must do to be able to achieve. And actually it is even important because when you do, when you do an analysis or when you evaluate, you actually know that this is what I'm able to control and this is what I'm not able to control. And then you put, play, uh, you, you put together a very comprehensive plan on how you're going to manage. So, in terms of resolutions, it is the things that we want to achieve in a, a specific period of time. And since this is a new year, People set resolutions in a way of setting goals of the things they would like to see themselves achieving in that year. Wow, uh, amazing. Now, of course, uh, one of the things that I've picked is you use the word that uh, re re resolve so things that people have resolved to work on for the particular year. Now, I would like to understand, in your opinion, is there a difference between the resolution setting process of an individual and that of a business? Well, yes, there is a difference. First of all, the, 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 the similarity is that the individual and the organization want to achieve certain things. But the process is different. Individually, it is about you. It is about what you want to be, it's about what you want to achieve, and um, you do it alone, okay? You do it alone, and you have to rely on yourself. But of course, perhaps you need, actually you need other individuals to assist you to achieve your goals, okay? So you have to factor that in, in, into the whole process. But in, in the organization, it is a team effort. Okay, it is a team effort. There is usually a vision bearer or the person who knows where you want to go as an organization, but this person actually ensures that everybody is part of the process of the goal setting and everybody understands the process of setting the goals. And what you, this is what you want to call the resolutions. But, but the organization set goals for about three years, then they have short term goals. But when we come back to the individual, you must understand that when you set your resolutions, you, 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 the process is, is an individual process, really, except if you want guidance from a few people, but it is quite individual. However, to achieve those goals, you must work with other people. These are your family, these are your friends, these are your workmates, um, maybe some of them are your role models. So this is how it happens, and that's the difference. Yes. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much. And now, of course, I do understand that in the process of setting these resolutions, there needs to be checks and balances. You yourself at some point mentioned that it is important to reflect on what you said for the previous year, in this case 2018, and use it as a, a derogative for setting 2019. What are some of these checks and balances that an individual needs to put in place? Very simple. Um, I, I don't know if people have a, a kind of notebook or a journal where you write. Quite a number of times we say this off the head and sometimes we don't even remember what we said we want to achieve. So, when you don't put your thoughts, your plans, your goals on paper, it is actually difficult to know where you're going. Maybe you remember, oh, somewhere in April, Oh, I wanted to do this, but then you didn't even write things down. So, I think the most important thing is for you to put ideas, goals, thoughts on paper. Then, you need to be able to check, follow up, and see how am I doing. Revisit that, uh, you know, that, that journal or wherever you wrote 
and say, well, how, how am I faring? Sometimes you can even try to, to put them in pictures. Sometimes you can put them somewhere on the wall, maybe in your bedroom, maybe in your sitting room, maybe in your office where you work. Something that reminds you that this is where I want to be going. Yes. Okay? So, and then you keep checking to see, how am I doing? Most of the time, we are very excited, but by March around there, yes. we go back to our old selves and we get caught up by work and everything else, and we forget about everything until December 31, when we say, oh yeah, it's a new year, 2019. So that is a problem. So it is very important that we are able to put in writing. Um, it is okay, sometimes good also, to share with friends. So they actually keep reminding you. Maybe you can find a few close trusted friends, not many, or family members, and then you share with them uh, your ideas and where you want to be in 2019, and they will help you to keep asking you questions and, and you know, trying to sometimes put you back, booting you back on track, challenging you, things like that. Uh, amazing. Now, as you mentioned, friends, I'm quickly driven to the mind of dream killers vis-a-vis -vis destiny helpers. Uh, and of course, as you're mentioning, friends, I would imagine if I choose the wrong person, they may become my dream killer. I, I don't know, well, what is your opinion about this? this Certainly, I mean, there are different types of people. There are people who are positive and who believe that things can happen. Those are, they, they help you to build your dream. Yes. And there are people who will actually try and, and, and show you that things are not possible. My advice to everybody who is, you know, watching this is that please run quick, quick away from the people who discourage you from doing things. Negative people, people who give you reasons why things can't happen, people who will not support you are dream killers. My suggestion is that do not waste your time sharing your dreams and ideas with such kinds of people because what they do is drain the energy and kill your dream and you begin to see that the road to your dream is getting dark and dark. On the other hand, there are people who will just get, make you feel positive, make, give you all the energy and please hang out more with those. Build your dreams with such kind of people. Support each other. So that is my, my advice. Wow, amazing. Now, uh, Doctor, uh, at the end of this show, I will task you to uh, give our, our viewers a brief skeleton of a, of a planning process that they could follow, because I imagine you have many models. Mm -hmm. But for now, I would like to engage you on a personal level, if you don't mind mm -hmm. sharing with our viewers. Yes. Uh, there have been a resolution you set for 2018 that highlighted your year, and could you share with us, please? Well, um, yes, personally, I, I, I set goals, I set goals, but what I really wanted to see, for instance, um, was being able to, to develop my, um, my farm. Uh, earlier on, you mentioned I'm a farmer. Yes, I'm a farmer. And one of the things I really had set as a, you know, as a goal for 2018, and which continues to run, is that I really wanted to acquire more land to expand uh, my farm. I must say that I'm very happy I've been able to achieve that in the year 2018, but it continues, it runs through, because my plan is big, my dream is big, so I continue to expand the farm. I'm happy to mention that I was able to do that. I do, I do farming in Mokono. So I'm, I'm very happy if you're watching from Mukono. I am one of those people who are very passionate about uh, growing the farming activities in the Mukono area. Mukono is a growing place, and I look forward uh, to you know expanding my activities there. Well, amazing. And now that's on the positive. On the other side, is there a resolution you set and it could have been your highlight, but it didn't come out? Yeah, and health. Free to share, yeah? Yes, health. I have been um, I've been working hard on on my health goals. First, of all, I would like to mention that I set different categories of goals. So, in terms of my health goals, 
I think that I didn't do very, very well. But I think uh, towards the close of the year, I, start, I, I tried to catch up because um, I wanted to consistently exercise. And I've been able to do that. Uh, I started, I think, in around November. I started in November. So this is something that I really want to seriously work on so that I'm able to consistently exercise three days a week. Yes. Wow. Amazing. Now, talking about health goals, I imagine there are other types that bring oh, yes. to oh, yes. the conclusion of, uh, of our interview. Yes. Could you engage us in uh, a, a, a goal setting, goal resolution setting process, the simplest that you feel our viewers are able to capture? And perhaps I know they have pens and books right now taking down notes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so it is an interesting process. But most importantly, it starts with what do you want to be? What do you want to achieve? And where do you see yourself? And this has to be very clear in your mind. There are no guesses about this. You must be very, very clear with what you want to achieve. If you're not very clear, then you're not going to be able to ask to set goals that are very specific, that are going to take you to where you want to be. I want to start like this and say, it, you, you, first of all, you may set goals, it, it is good to categorize, to start with categories. And you say, these are my personal goals. How do I want to look? How do I want to appear? Personal, okay? How do I want to relate with people? Okay, so that was are personal goals. Then you can go into professional. Maybe this is about your work. This is about your career. How do you want to be? Do you want to go back to school? Do you want to do a short course? Do you want, how do you want to be? Do you want a promotion? What, what, what is your goal there? Then you want to go to your finances and set your financial goals. Do you want to increase your savings? Do you want to invest? Do you want to create a business? What is, what is it that you want? Then you want to go into the spiritual or emotional goals. Okay, and then maybe you want to set goals related to family and friends. So it is good that when you're setting these goals, you're very specific and it is good that for the new year, categorize these goals. Put categories to the goals. So the next step is to say, okay, if I want to improve my relationships with family and friends, what do I need to do? Then you mention, what you're supposed to do to get you to achieve that goal, okay? And the way to do it is that since it is a whole year, you can set goals that are short term and that are mid term and long term. For example, the short term goal could be something that you may do in weeks. The mid term could be something for maybe two to three months and then the long term, maybe six months before the, the close of the year. Then, the other thing you do is to say, okay, what do I need to do to ensure that I am actually uh, working towards this goal? Then you try to write down the different things that you do that will ensure that you achieve that goal. Then, what you do then next is to see how am I doing finally? You need to evaluate and say, how am I doing? If, uh, for instance, you have the very short term goals, maybe two to three weeks, how have you done? If you want to improve your relationships with your family and friends, have you called them? Have you checked on them? Have you sent them a good morning message? Have you gone to, to visit? How do you hang out with them? Things like that. Have you gifted them? So, you know, it, it is something like that. Yes. So that is the process of setting the goals. Uh, but, you know, the, the process of setting goals, I, I really want to say, is a very rewarding thing. Because every time, for me, what really makes me happy is when I'm able to tick off what I have achieved. This I achieved. This I accomplished. What next? Of course, in the process, you are going to come across challenges. But this should not actually put you down. Because, um, you know, it, the, the, you should accept that things can get tough. And don't say that this is blocking you. No, 
that is the road, actually. That is the road. And you should be able to travel the difficult road to be able to get to where you want to go. Wow, wow. And, and uh, of course, uh, much as I said it was the conclusion, I'm, I'm greatly in, in, interested in knowing, uh, for example, like you said, don't go back and, and quit on the goal. At some point, I would imagine people set so many resolutions which become difficult for them to balance at some point. You, for example, you may have academics, you may have a job, you may have a business running, you may have uh, family uh, commitments, and perhaps ministry if you're a church person or something like that. How do you at some point get to balance this? Well, um, I, I, and the way to do it, you said it already, uh, the way to do it is uh, make it, don't make it long, make it simple. Because the moment you set many goals, you're going to be overwhelmed and, uh, you know, it is going to, to, to kind of bring you down. The first Im most important thing is to, to, to do things that you are able, you, that you think you're able to accomplish. And my, my, my advice has always been, for instance, that do, you start small. You can start with two goals per area, uh, maybe financial. You can start with two goals there. Uh, family, you can do two goals there. Don't make, don't, 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 don't have too many goals because those are going to, you know, you, you, you get overwhelmed and you think it is so difficult and then before you know it, you're going to become lazy and, and then you won't achieve anything. So how to do it is to ensure that you focus. And this is where focus becomes very important. Uh, when you set many goals, it means that you're not very particular on what exactly what you want. So focus and have a few goals. For example, uh, professionally, you might have you might focus on just one thing, then uh, uh, you know, and all the other areas that I earlier mentioned. Yes. And the way to do it uh, in terms of achieving them is to go slow. And the way to do it is to just begin working at something that you want to achieve. Just begin. Just begin. Uh, and, and I've always told uh, different people that have come, uh, I've interacted with, I, I always talk about the baby steps. And I say that, you know, when a baby is beginning to walk, they start slowly. And to, slowly, uh, they build confidence and they're able to walk. But after taking the first step and falling, so that is the way to do it. Set few goals, start with baby steps, just start, and before you know it, you'll be making progress. Yes. Amazing. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Diana. I really appreciate you taking off your time to share with us this knowledge and wisdom. Uh, could you give a final word of advice to our viewers as we set you off? Well, thank you. 2019 is a new beginning. Let's learn from 2018 what, well, what went well, what didn't go well. I am a person who believes in new beginnings. I am a person who has so much hope. 2019 has so many opportunities for us in the areas that I mentioned, finances, professionally, uh, emotionally and spiritually, family and friends, health, new opportunities. Just grab these opportunities, go slowly, don't set too many goals. Keep starting on something. Keep beginning. Keep doing something. And before you know it, by media, by June, you'll be smiling. I wish you all the best. Happy 2019. Well, our dear viewers, you've heard it from uh, Dr. Diana Tamu herself. Remember, she is the director of the MOOCs Entrepreneurship Innovation and Incubation Center at the Macquarie University Business School in Nakawa. And of course, extensively, she's recognized for her participation on different boards, including uh, different forums and panels including the famous Makasa, and so we do trust that the wisdom she has shared with us is extensively not only experienced but researched. Otherwise, we wish you all the best. Stay tuned for more programming here on Smart24. I am Ronald Tushkamwe.
Welcome back from that uh, short short break, and of course, we, we do appreciate the presentation that has been made by uh, uh, Dr. Diana Antamu, the director of the MOOBS Entrepreneurship Innovation and Incubation Center, one in Nakawa Kumakere University Business School. Of course, the director of presentation here at Adenyo Esida, kubi into be weta go kukola oktekango ingi da muako mupia. Nengo chali yao. Yemwe nyini abadde nga asobodde okutunnyonyola ku bintu ebimu byakola guli omwako guwedde ebyakola ne bitakola so twandi gaddo okumanya nga kuno omwaka enkumi bbiri kumi na mwenda gugenda zino golo zo setinze onankola oti okulaba nga zitukiriza this is a very big challenge many times we do set these goals but in actual sense we do not set the plan for attaining them the simple uh, illustration of a goal is a goal itself. For a footballer, I'm not a football player, neither am I actually a fan, but uh, I will attempt to explain this using the, 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 um, the symbolism of, of football and its, and, its, and its aims. So, you are a football club, you want to, uh, uh, your mission, your vision is a club uh, with, uh, rather a club winning the World Cup. Let us put it that way, okay? And of course, um, a club winning the World Cup, yes, I'm, I'm trying to get it well. Now, of course, to get to the World Cup and win it, that is the vision, a club winning the World Cup. Your vision, you envision it. You know, the beauty of a vision is you can actually close your eyes and, and ask yourself, what is it that I want to see, you know? In this case, um, if it is my business, my vision for Tush Concepts is a business that consults for uh, international, the top 500 international multinational com uh, uh, companies. That is perhaps a vision. Now, that is the vision. Now, to get to the vision, you must have a mission. My mission is da 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 da. To get to the mission, you have to set some goals. Okay, so to get to win the World Cup, you actually have to score some goals. The goals do n winning a match does not necessarily winning the, the tournament. It doesn't mean winning the tournament. You get it? So achieving some of the goals you would have set does not necessarily mean that that is all life for you and it is done. As we set some of these goals, one, we need to be realistic. 
We need to have them uh, smart in the sense of one, S being simple, rather specific, all right? Two, uh, all right, specific, measurable, they must be attainable, they must be realistic, and they must, on top of all, be time bound. Like Dr. Diana said, be able to set them in categories of, of short term goals, medium term goals, and long term goals. Of course, different players will give you different uh, categories to follow when doing that. Now, away from that, what does it take to achieve some of these goals that you would have achieved? My style is very simple. I call myself a gladiator, and I, I, I believe. This is a generation that needs the gladiator spirit back. You report no failure, give no excuses. I know it is quite rough, but at some point, those who strictly follow this uh, gladiator generation uh, uh, motto, uh, as per my definition, you'll find that things become simple for you with time. If you become this person who says, whether it is raining or not, my mission, my goal was to see that I exercise for one hour every day in bits of let us say 15 15 minutes all right whether it rains or not my mission my goal is to see that i have 15 minutes of exercise every day wake up commit i know it is going to be hard it is hard to get out of bed every day to do things that you are not interested in it is hard to do things that are hard for you it is hard to do things that make you discomf uncomfortable but then it is also hard to get out of your comfort zone and it's a necessity so as we talk about setting most of these goals, it is important that we attain a disciplined spirit. Be disciplined enough to write them down for starters. Don't just tell yourself, I'm going to do this and this and this. Write them down. Yes. Write them down. And I'm not talking about a phone. Because you see, the, 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 the funny thing about this technology is, um, I'll give you an example. The process of me logging into this alone is... It's quite a process, okay? Now, once I've logged in, the process of checking through all the other apps to come to a notepad will be quite long, and I may see an app that distracts me. As I want to go to my notepad in the iPad, I may end up going to Facebook first, then I go to WhatsApp, then I see a message coming in and a notification. So technology now becomes a bit disadvantageous, especially if one is not focused, which is a general character of most of the 21st century uh, uh, people, general character, so to say. Uh, that's my opinion. Now, back to the point. Uh, back to the point. So the first part about being disciplined in goal setting is actually writing down the goals. Write them down. Get a pen, get a paper, uh, write them down. Whatever you say you want to achieve in 2019, write it down. Okay? Now, after writing down, you must be disciplined enough to actually look, take your time, think, think, what will it take for me to achieve the things that I want to get? What will it take? What kind of different person do I have to be? You see, the reason as to why you set some things to do last year and, 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 and you didn't achieve them was because there might have been somewhere where you went wrong. So find out, where did I go wrong and what will it take me to adjust to see that most of these things uh, that I want to achieve in 2019 are done. So that's, that's one of the ways to evaluate yourself, you know. If you have been one who is rude to people, you may need to change your character so that you can create a networking environment. Business people can quickly come and you know, give you a business card, but they will not give you that if you're rude, if you have a lot of negative energy around you. Come 2019, I want to task our dear viewers, let's be different, let's be uh, professional, let's be uh, standard, you know? let's have character, let's be men of character. Men of character that is not questionable. Men of character that makes us different in whatever environment we go. Character is like a perfume. When you are in an environment and you have a poor character, everyone will smell that character on you. When you are in an environment and you have a nice perfume, the moment you leave, even that scent of the perfume will still be there and someone will be like, ah, was too sheer? Which perfume does he use? Is it a Chris Adams? Is it a Let's Imagine by Chris Adams? And I'm thinking, yes, yes, that was the presence of Tush. If you find yourself in an environment where, whether or not you're there, people cannot tell your impact and input, then you are in the wrong place. Better yet, the right place is, <laughs> rather, the right place is in the wrong person, or the wrong person is in the wrong place. The wrong person.
be the right place. So it's about the person, it's about you, it's about the individual. Adjust, change yourself, make yourself better. Find better friends to challenge you. Find better uh, topics to, to think about, to research about. And this, you don't even need to be an ac academician, you know? That will make you a better person. And one way or the other, you will attain the goals that you have set. As I close today's Smart Rise show, I want to remind us, you are the reason you are the way you are. Gadem, you are the reason you are the way you are. And so, Ngarachi Oriwoli, Yegwe, Si Tata, Si Mama, Si Musomese Yakusale Chigezo, no. The change you want in your life begins with you. The person you want to become begins with you. The uh, success you want to attain begins with you. It's not about the government. It's not about who bewitched you. It's not about who ignored you. Friends, whoever, you, whoever is watching, the change you want in that business, among your clients, in your network, it begins with you. Make a difference in your life. Make a difference in the world. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Otherwise, thank you for watching the Smart Rise Show. Here on Smart 24 TV, we have been with our Smart Forum. And of course, in our forum today, we were very humbled to have the director of the Moves Entrepreneurship Center, Dr. Diana Antamuna Andagire. And uh, before that, we had Frank, we had Business Insights, looking into the different uh, speeches that were given by uh, our presidents in East Africa. Uh, and we singled out some of them. That was President Yoweri Museveni of Uganda, President Uhuru Kenyatta of Kenya, and of course, President President uh, Paul Kagame of Rwanda. Before that, we also had Frank Gashumba, who went ahead to ask, what are you planning for? Or, uh, yeah, a topic, a topic that was surrounding uh, planning for 2019. And of course, uh, prior to that, we had our insights. And this, we do commit to making better every day that, that, that comes up. We want to make you better, and we want to make ourselves better. We work together. Share with us on social media. Share with us on Twitter at S24TV, on Facebook, Smart24TV, for all our programming. For all our programming. Away from that, it's been Ronald Tushkamweya. Today, I worked with Shakira Biharimana, Frank Gashumba, Jackie Arinda, and the rest of the team. Thank you so much, Shadrach, William, Abe, uh, Jen, wherever you are. Thank you so much for making this possible. I wish you all the best. Stay tuned for more programming here on Smart24TV.